you were low. What? You were low. <laughs> yeah, harmonizing. I get the lows, you get the high. Oh, but man. it was like out of tune. <laughs> you should have been, hmm. You were, hmm. What happened? He's watching the game from the last night's game. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, the ju- <laughs> last night's game. Oh, no. Oh, uh, uh, you should tell him. Well, <laughs> Don't spoil the game. You should tell him. <laughs> no. Text him, Keenan. <laughs> text him what? The score? Was it who, Mr. Lawrence? I thought he was watching tonight's game. I thought he was watching tonight's game. That's when he screamed. He's like, Oh, yeah. no. And I look and I see. Hold up. The Steelers. The, oh. He just records game just to watch him later? Yeah. Oh, okay. oh, okay. I was about to say, like, he. Okay. Okay. Yeah, nah. No, like, he thought he was in a time loop. The live, rea- the live reaction is crazy, though. Yes. <laughs> I mean, he don't know the, the outcome of him. Listen, oh. when you out when you. Yeah, so I mean, everything is fresh. Steelers fan? No. Cowboys? He's not a fan of anything. He just cheering for football? Yeah. He had a fantasy team? Nah. <laughs> yes. He's out here loving nah, the he, he just, he just pick a team. You know, before fantasy, they just loved the game. They just loved the game. <laughs> they he, did. He just pick a team and be like, I don't want the other team to win. You know what? That's that's I, I that's liberating, yeah. actually. To just go in to any game like, you know what? I'm just going to pick a side. Filling the Dolphins today. And it really... Go as hard as yeah. a real fanatic that's been in my lived in Miami for thirty like the, years, like the little Asian lady. Oh yeah, where did she go? What? She's a plant that's been. Yeah, gone. and nobody yeah. can convince me that that yeah. little Asian woman was not a plant. Nah, I don't know what she was. Nah, she wasn't a plant. It was just that Kolioko looking bitch was a plant. You know she's in college. She's in college football. Huh? She's in the game. Like she's one of the fans. One of the fans kind of looked like Asian Wilson. <laughs> Really? Yeah, she got long, same long ass face, same ponytail. Yeah. Okay. Damn, he's a long ass face. I mean, she. I think I know who you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. I think I know. It's yeah. the one that they show all the time. All the time. Okay. All the time. Mm-hmm. I'm like, is that Asian? Yeah. You're close Asian. enough. It's funny when you said that. I thought you were talking about the other Asian. I'm like, nah. Damn. Nah. <laughs> yeah, I'm just, I was like, damn. The fact that he's still reacting to game that was 24 hours ago. I mean, he don't know that. It's pretty funny. It's like that is it's while, while a live game is on. Yeah, that is. You probably bliss. watch that one next. Yeah, this is bliss, bro. Listen, he about to walk here like Prince died. <laughs> <laughs> oh loud! <laughs> they done took Chadwick Boseman. <laughs> All right, y'all. What's going on? It's the Not That Serious Podcast, mm-hmm. uh, also known as the greatest podcast in the world. I happen to be one of your hosts, Large Michael. <laughs> It's LZ. I'm sick today. <laughs> Keenan's in the building. MJ. Uh, no Q today. Uh, light skin lightning in a bottle is on a. Uh, he's a he, He's gone off to start a cult in Little Venice. Um, so you know, if you're looking to convert to the way of Waffenism, mm. um, you can reach him on his Instagram. And see what the uh, tribute is to join. Um, I'm going to give you a heads up. There will be butt stuff involved. So if you're not prepared for that, then you're not ready for enlightenment. A little penis bleaching. <laughs> penis bleaching. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what, it's too dark? Got to make it Because what they do <laughs> is match they, the body. they bleach the... <laughs> <laughs> Gotta match the body. Yeah. <laughs> you know the too dark. To I have this, ascended. <laughs> I have I have bleached my gooch to match the rest of my body. And you, unless you are monotone. I am all one color. <laughs> you cannot join me. <laughs> and the thing is, if they bleach it too light, you still can't get in because now, 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 yeah, now, now you're now yeah, you're just you're translucent. Like you're, just, <laughs> you're just a bleached mess <laughs> with no enlightenment. Now you're just fucked. Oh my god! Um, <laughs> uh, actually, <Excuse> me. <laughs> oh <my> um, <laughs> make Token sure you there. subscribe to all the um to the pa- to the podcast on all the platforms, Apple Podcasts, all that good stuff. Shout out to Spreaker, Spotify. Yep. Um, we made it to 13k on YouTube. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, we did. So yeah, shout out to did. y'all. It's not enough. We want 15 now. Exactly. Good job, thirteen up into fifteen. God damn it! I don't. I we don't rest on our laurels here. Like uh, rest on our laurels mm. here at not that studio, not that series studios. All right, mm-hmm. and Media Mogul Production Inc. <laughs> okay, we strive for greatness, success, break through the limits, more and more and more and more and more. So we got thirteen. That's cool. We want fifteen now. 
Get the fuck on it. <laughs> you heard what he said. Me and Lon. All right. So. <laughs> We gotta, how's everybody doing? How's our how's everybody been? doing? Uh, what's, everybody, what's, uh, what's going on? Can we go first. Yeah, good. Cool. Uh, I had a busy weekend. Mm. DJ, yeah, <laughs> regular shit. Uh, DJing a lot. Uh, I got sick. Like I said, if you can hear it, I got sick from the fucking kids at school. So, I, I feel like I was kind of I was just waiting on it. All these little niggas do is cough with their mouths wide open and sneeze. Mm. This, one, this one girl sneezed. I'm like, I'm not even exaggerating. In the last period of the day. She sneezed at least 17 times in one period. period is, she, is she a serial sneezer or just individual sneeze to 17 times? It's, it's no. Individual. Oh, my she's God. Not, she's not like me where it's like three to four at a time. Like It's, it's not back to back. So 17 different issues. She just said, uh, ah. Ain't covering yep. her mouth once, did she? No. Mm. Nope. Yeah, just in the open. Yep, and the other kids just walking around. <laughs> and you're not working with like children, children. They're like they're middle school, middle, middle school. schoolers, and they're still just. Yep. Oh yeah, that yeah. Open yeah. mouth. I, they got about two more years to learn that. They yeah. got about two more because you got to think they it's sixth grade, so they're like eleven, twelve. Yeah, that doesn't stop till real bullying starts to happen. Yeah, yeah. no, nah, because once again, the high school they still be nasty. Like they do still be I, nasty. I, I, I be having to tell my players like, yo, cover your fucking. No, nah, take a shower. <laughs> Go clean yourself. You know that's uh, that's standard. We, we 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 over here getting ready. No, we finished the summer league game, mm. and everybody's going home. And my man's on the sideline about to put on deodorant. I'm like, where you about to put deodorant? I'm not gonna lie. I'm not, I'm not, I don't want to interrupt you. Uh huh. High school, right? Yeah. Do they? They don't shower. Do they shower? No, no, no. So that's what I'm saying. So what are they gonna do? No, like we were going home. The game was over. Right. Why are you about to put on deodorant? Just go home and shower. Oh yeah. Uh, oh, so you think they're oh they're yeah, just put, put on deodorant? He was about to put on deodorant and just, just go on the rest of his and day. That was the rest of the evening. <laughs> yeah, that's nuts. I'm that's like, I'm, I'm like, what are you putting deodorant for? Just 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 go home and bathe. He said, No, this is the bath right here. That's, you, that's what I'm happy about with like the kids that are this young because they have gym class, obviously. Mm -hmm. But they have gym class, you know, they're sixth grade. They don't even change clothes yet. Yeah, so yeah. they just no, they don't. They don't do it anymore? Mm -mm. They used to. Oh, we I remember when, did we change clothes in middle school? Yes, we did. I didn't go to middle school. I, well, I went to, I wasn't, sixth grade wasn't middle school here yet. No, it wasn't. No. So I don't know if seventh and eighth grade changed. They might. Nah. But sixth graders do not. I could have swore all of them. What? Right. So it is funny though because they'll be running around. They don't even stink. They come back in. What, what a time. I'm like, they're still at that little age where, like, next now, next year, y'all ain't going to be able to get away with this. Y'all can't get away with this. <laughs> but they can go outside, play soccer, come back inside, and you don't even smell, you don't even smell grass. I'm like, how is this possible? <laughs> that's got, that's definitely just good air. How is this possible? Yeah, that's good air. Yeah, that's, a, that's, that's the HVAC. Exactly. That's, HVAC the is real going good in, that, in the sixth grade wing. Yeah, and it's sixth grade, so it's like, you know, a lot of the kids are in the same classes. So like, we'll go from gym, and it'll be like four kids who are just in gym. So, and nobody smells anything. I'm like, man, living life. It's so luxurious. Yeah, that's crazy. Mm -hmm. It's so why. <laughs> Do you feel like, all right, so we're on that real quick since we're already talking about it. Do you feel like you, like, we missed out on having showers? Like, you think we could have, would you have liked to have the option to shower? We did. You did, yeah, we always had the option to shower. In, in we did? Yeah. yeah, Andre used to shower. Yeah. You always shower. Andre used to shower after gym. Mm -hmm. You showered after gym? No, not me, no. You showered after gym? Nope. But we, we had the option? Yeah, yeah always. Not anymore because now they just use the gym locker rooms, like the showers of storage. But oh wow! But like stop, what? stop, 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 stop. We had the option to shower, like if we wanted. So what did like he just like leave extra early to shower? Yeah, mm -hmm. and, and and by the time like we were coming back in to be changing for to go back to class, he'd be coming out to shower every time. Yeah. What? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Andre Grizzly used to shower. Oh, so now they they just don't make a shower. Yeah. No. Yeah, they never made you shower. No. <laughs> Unless, well, back in the day, I feel like they did. Yeah, I feel like back in the day, like our parents in high school, yeah. Get in the shower. Get in the fucking shower, you dirty ass nigga. Which is, I feel like we should, that should. It should be, but it's 2024. The, uh. A lot of things happen now. A lot of people get looked at. Well, because here's the you thing, right? So the basketball coach that, that head coach, he had the same gym teacher as us, right? And he, huh. he used to say that, like, Back at that time, they used to have to watch them shower. Okay, now <laughs> why they had to make sure that they clean it, it was I'm a part of their sure grade. You wash your fucking ass. It was a part of the grade, so no, they had that's to watch. The F for ass. Wash your that's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. It's just like how like you're not <laughs> yeah. getting your grade for not changing. You wasn't great. You wasn't <sighs> getting your grade for if you didn't yeah. wash. No, I respect that. I do. I respect grading people on washing their ass. I don't respect them watching them. 
But how do I know if I don't watch you? Because I don't know. And, and, I, and you, no, at the end, at the end of the class, right uh-huh. at the end of the gym, yes, yes that nah, smell test. Just smell them. We we give, we give you soap. You don't get to bring your own soap. If you come out the shower and you don't smell like this, f. You know exactly. You what's know gonna what? Happen. You what? know exactly what's gonna happen. What? This is gonna rub the soap on their skin. That? Nah, that's not gonna you work. You gotta be Why not? a dirty not son work. of a no. bitch. Why not? That's not gonna work. If you enough. took Irish Spring right now and rubbed it on your skin, you're gonna smell like Irish Spring. Nah, I, I nah, because the little white kid coming. I'm like, your hair's not even wet, bro. Get the fuck back in the shower. Yeah, that's that's the test right there. Okay. Dirty okay. Your hair wet. It's no way. Yeah. Because you can you can literally like towel your head to the cows come home. I'm still, still gonna be able to right. tell yeah, yeah. that you were in that shower. Yeah. You know what? Great. You know, we just solved that. Stinky kids solved. Well, they're not forced to take showers anymore so <laughs> they need to do that they need to and just smell test them just right before they walk raise your arm and everybody just walk by like mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you just take a q-tip behind their ear oh yeah that's, that's how you know that's, oh, that's, nasty. that is how you that's, know. that's, that's how you that's how you fuck. know if behind your ears are fucking dirty mm-hmm. zero <laughs> go straight for the belly Ooh, button do a it, belly yo. button swap <laughs> 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 what's the, <laughs> is that three days? Oh, Rashawn? Ew. Rashawn? You had a baby in three days? Ew. I gave you dial soap three days ago. Why did I still taste Columbus that? Day was last week. Ew. <laughs> that's crazy. I know what your mama told me. <laughs> don't act like you don't know. Yeah, that's yeah. <laughs> that's crazy. I didn't know we had the option yeah, to shower. That is always. insane. Because it got because I, I remember for us, like the showers were just open. It's not like there was yeah. I know, there was shit in there. those showers oh, were no, just not a, open. Oh, I mean, yeah. like it wasn't storage. So yeah. for sporting events, did y'all shower after like practice and stuff like that? Mm. I live games. I live close to home, so I'll just go straight home. Yeah. Even away games, you didn't shower. Like no, no. At, well, you so these showers much. never got used. No, I never see, used. See, ever. because here's the thing, like. Like you use, and the thing is, it's actually it was pretty nasty because you actually had to let the water run a little bit mm. because it came out a little cloudy at first. Yeah. Oh. And then you had to let it run, and then <laughs> you got in. So the fact that I had to let it, I'm like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not doing it. Mm. I'm not doing it. No, thanks. Gone. I was gonna, ask, you know, he went to a little different school. MJ, Sorry, not even trying to be funny. You being older. Did did they, did y'all shower in? No. Same thing. Damn. Optional. Yeah. But you knew kids that did take that option or. Just huh. one, one. Yeah, just like we knew. Did y'all looking at him weird. No, well, he was already weird. Coach, uh, Hal, Coach Hal's nephew. Oh shit! Mm. Shout out to that weird ass nigga. <laughs> you know, uh, My, uh, the you bouncer, know. Mike Butler. Wait, hold on. We'll talk. You, you, hold on. Yeah, hold on. Because I think I know you're talking about, but we don't have to put it in his old business out there like that. You already said his full name. <laughs> 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 That's crazy. I didn't like. Wow. Yeah. That Learned is something strange. new. Literally. Yeah. So these showers just literally just nothing every day. Nothing just, every day. Well, well, I guess. And then in like the little middle school. Well, now the freshman building, they had like the little Murphy poles. They damn sure wasn't using those. Oh hell no! Nah. Like at the beach. <laughs> yeah. Like in the locker room, they just had Murphy poles, and it had like three heads on each pole. You remember inside that? Yeah, that. No, that's well, no, no, no. The freshman building. So like, oh yeah, I, yeah. Haven't, been, I haven't. I don't go over Thomas there, or Hopkins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, yeah. no, I haven't. I haven't been over there in years. I mean, they even got showers at the middle school, but the yeah, shits were. I don't know why they build them in there because they damn sure was never going to get used. I guess the I option. It, yeah, I think it just has to be built. Like if you have a locker room, there has to be a shower. Like, it's probably code of conduct, right? That's probably got to be some I guess type of maybe. code. Yeah, like it has to be a shower. Yeah, that's like that's like having a locker room with no toilet. Gotta have you it. You gotta have better have it and not need it and need it and not have it. Exactly. Yeah. Especially when it comes to like hygiene shit. Right. Like tampons in all bathrooms. Like who it doesn't matter. If they need it, they need it. You know what I mean? Whoever, whatever. You know, some people have an issue with that. Whatever. What tampons in all bathrooms? Yeah. <laughs> like know. men's and women's bathrooms? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Whoever. Whatever you need them. I have no issue with that. Also, all all feminine products should be free. Sure, but for why would sure. they need to be in the men's bathroom? Uh, trans boys. You never know. Yeah, you just never know. You never know. I'll be back, and bro. I'm on my period. What's the harm? All right, bro. Yeah, the tampons in the bathroom. All right, bad, bad. What? What is? What does it hurt? Is oh, it, it hurts. hurts, it hurts no so that's what I'm saying. You know, like, it, it honestly, you know what? It might hurt the plumbers because niggas are childish. The no, toilet will just be clogged. The toilets will be clogged with tampons. Remember when I sent you just coming out the bathroom like? Look, I sent you that. Sh- you know, because kids are just 
Kids are destructive pieces of shit. Yeah. Oh yes. <laughs> Remember that shit I said y'all earlier? He's like the Jan Addy airballed your third. Oh my third chocolate, chocolate milk. milk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, kids are Took shit. Them. Are shit human beings. Yeah, it's disgusting. Yeah. Fucking kids. And they got. I love my kids though, but fuck them. <laughs> I love my kids. I mean, that's how I, be, that's how I feel about my kids too. Mm-hmm. Stop when them kids gonna find this shit. Speaking of the kids, we went. Me and Keenan and Q, we went to the football game on Friday. Mm-hmm. These little niggas trying to fight, Bruh Little niggas trying to fight. Yeah, yeah. fight bro. who y'all? No, no they, oh, hell no. Nah. I think I, like y'all. That would have been the night I went to jail. <laughs> what, what, I was, uh, I wouldn't swing on many people, but I'll swing on a little kid. <laughs> Come on, bro. Come on. So what? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, nah. So it looked like so These we were playing. Girls. We were playing city. Yeah, I think. I think from what I picked up, this is home or away. Yeah. This is home. Okay. It sounded like it was a girl that came from the city side, and she came all the way around to the township side and was trying to talk shit. So it was like a whole crowd well, of kids. They get, wasn't they getting beat like 38, 40? We beat them 42 to bro, 8. I'm over here like, why are we fighting? We're winning by like 40. If you can't win the game, win the fight. <laughs> like, like, what is that, going on here, bro? That, that is a very mental... Yes. It I, was belt to ass. From the first time Township scored, never let up. And them niggas scored on a halfback pass. When I, I think I forget who I asked. I said, because I got there late. It was like halfway. First of all, the first quarter was 45 minutes long. I got there and I noticed that City was not moving the ball at all. I said, "How did they score?" I think it was you. He was like, "Oh, they threw a halfback pass." I said, "Some something had to make sense because, bro, these he, niggas is ass." He was well, some fucking some yeah. fucking uh, Philly special type shit. Type shit. Nah, it was well, mm, yeah, yeah. They gave it to the running back and looked like a run. Nigga yeah. <laughs> pulled that bitch up and threw it. Mm. But anyway, the fight. Yeah, it was some girls like arguing. But if you're from where we're from. Shit like that doesn't happen. People don't fight like that. Like, people do fight, obviously, but it's never when it, when it happens. It's like, what are like, we doing? Yeah, yeah. you also, yeah. <sighs> Your house has a two car garage. Please, yeah. you don't you do don't need to be rambunctious. Yeah. You got two You're not, bathrooms. You're not like that. <laughs> You're, You're not, not like that. that. Yeah, you yeah. have guest bedrooms. Relax. Yeah, you got a guest you house. Need, <laughs> exactly. Put that frustration somewhere else. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was uh, it was cool going out there. That was my first game in a long time, so. Bro, like, every time I go, like, I go probably, like, once a year. I always forget how long those fucking games are. I'm like, God damn. It was just that. Didn't somebody get hurt, too? Yeah, well, well, so two people got hurt in the first quarter, so that's why I was, like, 45 did, minutes. Did they just do the thing still with the cheerleaders? Got to do the push-ups. How many points you yeah. scored? Yeah, they did that. I just bring out 42 um, of them things. The band is really sad now, though. Bro, it's, like, six of them. Yeah, no lie. It's like six band members and like four color guards. <laughs> Is that even all the instruments <laughs> like, that you the, can have in the like, band? <laughs> remember the band from Bully? The Bully, the game? The game. Remember how they sounded? Nah. You don't remember that? Well, they sound like, for anybody who knows what I'm talking about, they sound like that. It's like one nigga on the drums, one nigga on, on a tuba, and a nigga on a triangle. That's so crazy. My brother just graduated and they had a a big band. I guess not anymore. Or maybe all the band members were sick because it was only like six of them out there. And, and there was more color guard girls than. <laughs> First of all, Keenan's sick. Bro, because it is, bro. It is. There's something wrong with him. He's a bully, for real. No, I'm not. I can't remember what. What are you saying? No, nah, nah, because I was like, out of everything that, that that you can do in high school, being in a color guard is probably the corniest thing you can do. Without a doubt. At, there's, there's nothing cornier than being out there twirling some flags. <laughs> nah, you could be the fucking people that move the sticks. I think that's whack. No, because you get paid for that. Yeah, oh, be, you get paid off. And then be grown. That you automatically, that automatically, okay, exactly. you're, good. you're straight. Never mind. I'm yeah, bad. no, you actually get paid for that. I didn't know you get paid. They for out that. there changing, changing flags mid, mid choreo. I'm like, this yeah. shit is corny. No, they there's pr- teams that's whacker than that. What? Like, there's a bowling team. You're you're going for a a championship. Yo, I mean, there's bo- flags for the championships. Like, they do that. <laughs> Exactly, that's just corny. Like I did say, I'd rather be a part of bowling team than twelve. Yeah, you, you, about, you're playing us. You're on a team where the sport you, the sport you play, you can eat nachos while you do this shit. Yeah, Michael, you're out there twirling flags. I, that's yeah. I, I can respect because it's some choreography. So it's bowling. But sure, it's boring. But it's like it's just it's just a whack look. It's, it's a lot harder. You ever tried to do a fucking uh, what's that uh? Eight, ten it's a split? sport that's pop- popular, eight, eight, popularized eight, by like balding middle aged old men. And like you're I said, a high school teenager bowling. You're a high school teenager. 
twirling flags. The only thing that's what kids do twirl flags. It and reminds do dumb me shit. the episode of you're fucking in Bernie the Mac lanes, with, like, when with, Jordan was the king of the. He uh, lied and said he was the king of the rings. Not it's like that, that I'm shit. The time. When I tell yeah. you, that's probably one of the funniest. Yeah, because you look like a dork. <laughs> no, look like a dude, no, because you look because like a dude doing it. Was in a leotard. They the out there in leotards. They were out there in leotards. And capes. With capes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Never mind. Capes just brought it down. Like I said, I said. <laughs> they have just perfect flag. velvet capes, bro. Capes, capes just brought twirlers. it down. <laughs> but color guard girls are the same. Like, they like horses, too. Like, I feel like you can't like one without liking the other. If you like color guard, you fuck with horses. They're little horse girls. <laughs> and and not even. Are the, you talking about the horse girls that do the pretend? Uh, they like all that. I have say, you seen that? Yeah, I have. That's mental illness. It's real. not the ones that's riding the horse. It's the one with the little horse on the stick yeah, and they, they doing go. the jump. Yes, <laughs> some of them. I'm not gonna lie. They oh are athletic. Kind of impressive. They are athletic because the one girl jumped over some shit that was like nine feet. <laughs> 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 like get this bitch in the combine. <laughs> what the fuck is she over? Here? I was like, whoa! Probably making the sound. Yeah, and they make the sound too. That shit was impressive as fuck. I'm like, oh, she is clearly in the wrong sport. That shit is like seven feet, and she just ran up with a horse in between her legs. Oh my god, crazy! Yeah, shout out to that. All she needed was two more friends, and she could have been a real athlete. Yeah, <laughs> man. <laughs> I mean, two more friends just put it like, what the fuck is you doing? All they got to do is, in, you know, invite the Special Olympics there and they will be able to, like, <laughs> be- they picking up athletes. Because- <laughs> picking up athletes. <laughs> 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 They're picking up athletes. You know, they're putting them down. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> All right. Because. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I'm sorry, Lord. Like, What's your name? Nerd. <laughs> uh, all right. Okay. No, nope. Is she nope. Just fucking name? And now we have. No, Michael, we're not going to go through a whole broadcast uh, now. No, thank you. Now we have Nimoy, Nimoy. <laughs> How was your week, Mike? My week was good. How was your week? From Imaginary Ranch. Uh, okay, all right. Um, nah, my week was good, man. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, work and shit, you know. <clears throat> um, Saturday, the weekend, you know, movie filming. Yeah. Oh, yeah, how's that been? It's been cool, man. I saw a little clips, a little behind the scene. Mm-hmm. A little ETF. Had a couple setbacks, you know. Uh, replacing actors and different things of that nature. Ah, uh, really? Yeah. Yeah. You know what's but, crazy? I was gonna hit y'all up. Like, I could pull up right now. You could have. Oh, uh, you could have. Um, we we could have. You could have. Hey, could have. Could have been a cameo guy just walking in the background. It's like, wait, Damn. that was it. Yeah, that'd be fine. Could have. Could have been a basketball. Could have been an extra basketball player. Next time, I pull up. Um, I don't want to ruin the continuity. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we. Well, I probably got like one more weekend left of filming. I think so. Like, I think not too many more days. Yeah, we're almost done. A handful of days left of filming. Um, but yeah, so I was there Saturday. Suddenly, uh, Keenan was there Saturday. Mm-hmm. Um, Keenan is the role of the bully. <laughs> and when you hear that, you go, <laughs> come on. But honestly, I'm not going to lie. When he came, he, it was one part he did. Mm-hmm. You believed it? When he got like it's something in his eyes, I'm like oh shit! Oh, he meant I, that shit. I was like, huh? What'd you tap into? This? I'm not even gonna lie, bro. What'd you tap so, into? So yeah, where, like, where was your motivation? What did you find? Um, like early on, like, like so when I first started like doing my lines, like I couldn't. It, it's hard to just like all right, be angry. Because like my like all all my scenes, I'm just coming in as the angry guy, mm-hmm. right? So it's like the, the the first few times I'm over here just like like I stop mid mid line like yeah I ain't like that mm. I don't like how I sound mm. yeah but then as you we just a few times. yeah a few times I was like brother I've been out here for six hours already I need you to let's, I yeah, want to go editing home. this is gonna be I'm like bad. bro no I'm like I've been here since yeah. nine yeah and I it's pulled like up at like four o'clock like yeah. brother like let's clean let's, these let's, lines. let's get these go. lines up yeah. let's get these lines up. like Ken if you fuck your lines one more time uh bro but yeah no nah, it's just I don't know. I don't know why I tapped into it. It's just it was one. After yeah. a while, it's just <laughs> I, I because I was able to go back and forth, like giving the line, so I'm like, I meaner, louder, harder. And I'm like, okay, all right, we're good. Yeah, yeah, that's 
Yeah, it's, it's, it's good. I can't, I can't wait to see how this ends out because mm. I, I need to see what this finished product looks like. Oh, he's gonna be editing. He's gonna be editing, because, <laughs> he's gonna be be editing, editing a lot. Editing. It's going to be editing some edits, bro. bro. So, so, right, bro, bro, so the premise of the movie is like, it's three friends on a basketball team, intramural type basketball team, right? And I'm one of the players on the team. So already, you know, hysterical. And if you wouldn't believe it, I'm probably, no, not anymore. I would no, pass, yeah, no. Not anymore. Is that the part you were specifically casted for? <clears throat> yeah. Like he obviously didn't catch me for my athletic ability. Nice. Not at all. He <laughs> catches me. Relax. Uh, <laughs> he was like, "This is gonna be hilarious." <laughs> he was like, "Yeah." He basically was like, "Yeah, just be you." And I was like, "I can do that." Yeah. And uh, so yeah, we're on this basketball team, and I'm like, "There's a part where I'm supposed my character is supposed to like come up with a play," <laughs> and I was like, "My for and me and my limited practical basketball knowledge." Mm. Oh, this is a three man team. I was like, yeah, let's do, just do a bunch of pick and rolls, like just mad pick and rolls. Like yeah. one dude picks and rolls, and then that dude picks and sets another pick and roll, and yeah. then just infinite picks and rolls until we get to the basket. Doc Rivers. And then as soon as we did it, I was like, this is not going to work. Bro, I'm looking at it. I'm like, what is going on here? <laughs> and I'm like, Keenan, help. He's like, do a three man weave. I'm like, huh? <laughs> Yeah, I was going to say it's a three-man weave. I'm like, just a quick three-man weave. I, yeah. I showed them real quick. They got it down. But yeah. the... Did the, you see when I hit the three? No. Was I? Did no. hit a three? Oh, you wasn't... No, Damn, I it was it. Sunday. Nigga, I'll drink that motherfucker. <laughs> Did they get it on film? Yeah. Oh, no. Pat has it on film. <laughs> Pat has it on film, and I, I need to document it. Pow. Okay. Because, um, yeah, like, it's some scenes where, like, we got to, you know, play basketball. Yeah. And it's like, you know, he's just like, act like you're playing a game and just, I'm going to film it and it looked real sloppy. And at one point, I sat in the corner. <laughs> I was like, wow, bro. I was so excited. Hey, I there ruined this There's a defense out there with y'all? They did. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Now, is, is there defense being There's, played? Oh, yeah, nah, no. There are yeah. defenders, but not defense. Okay. Larry, the, the, <laughs> the first play where it's like, all right, now y'all going to start playing. Mm. Immediate travel. Oh. I'm like, oh god. <laughs> she did the. Uh, she did the. <laughs> the Whoa, and then, she's, she's really good. <laughs> she's really. Ball. She's hitting with the razzmatazz. <laughs> and then the main guy, like he's over there dribbling the ball, so like he's g receiving a screen mm. and like going to his left. But then he got the ball in his right hand. I'm like, Joe, just just do me a favor. Like when you go in that, we just had a ball in your left hand. Oh, he was going to the right. So he's dribbling. He's dribbling Nigga, to the dri left. He was dribbling with like, the right hand. He was literally dribbling like Soldier Boy. Yes. <laughs> Have y'all ever seen like a Republican? You can tell. Like Stanley from the Office. You can tell Soldier Boy was going left with his right hand. <laughs> That's how bad that should look. Bro, it's, <laughs> so is it is this supposed to be? A, is it a comedy? Like, cause you're a bully. Yes. So are yeah. you a funny bully? Like. No, uh, no. Like, oh, like, oh, no. He's, he's a genuine. Me. He's a no, genuine. I mean, well, his thing. I'm not even a. No, he's bully. justified. It's actually justified. I'm not even a bully. It's just you know my character. Uh, his family keeps getting messed with. So you know, I'm just coming in like yo, stop fucking with my family. Mm. Pretty much. So you know, I'm just defending the family honor. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, it's like I. I'm, I can't wait to see how he edits this. To, especially these basketball scenes that look like some basketball. Oh my mm. gosh, bro, shit's fucked. <laughs> You say I got two more weekends left? Probably, feel, like, probably two or three. Well, I don't at least, know. At least I, I I have one weekend of, okay. of, of one day of filming. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he got a I just got to get my last role. scene in. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, but yeah, uh, it, it was, it's been fun. Uh, well, I will say <laughs> one great discovery that has made this all worth it. Did you know that Sam's Club has um, copycat Chick-fil-A chicken nuggets? And it uh, tastes exactly like them bitches. I I was gonna say I think the ones we get are from Costco. No 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 no. They no, taste no. pretty good too. No 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 no. They could be the same. No no no. Sam's Club, uh, Maker's Mark or uh, Mark Mark some something Mark. This, the, members Mark okay. that brand. Okay. They got these motherfuckers it's called Southern Style Chicken Bites. Mm. Right. They got that and they got the patties and the waffle fries. So for lunch one day. Director Pat had his wife come in and she made a bunch of those nuggets with the little fries. Mm. When I tell you, she was like, they're like, yeah, we don't go to Chick-fil-A no more. And I was like, ah, you're full of shit. <laughs> I tasted them motherfuckers right there. I was like, yeah, I'm never going back. It's no need. This is fucking delicious, bro. <laughs> exactly. I was like, bro, I almost I like I was this. I'm a BJ's man from the core. Mm -hmm. 
this close to fucking betraying them. Switching over. Switching over. And then you can go right to Walmart and get the little knockoff Chick-fil-A sauce. Or you just get the actual Or you can just go yeah, Chick-fil-A get sauce. In the little tube. I'm not living fake. I mean, I'm just yeah, I don't have I'm, hey, I'll keep I, it real I, with that. I, I thought we was out here saving bucks. My bad. I mean <laughs> saving some coins. That one is right there. You know I, mean, money, I mean the, the, the knockoff right there too. Nah, right next to it. If it's like right there, I'm not it's come on, Keenan. We're not yeah. we don't gotta I, my fault. They, gotta yeah, they literally sell the sauces. Sauce. It's okay to have the actual sauce. Yeah, yeah. Hey, shit tastes good as hell. You wanna have like some type of semblance of what's real going on here. No, you don't. Everything that we're living in, we're living in simulation. Everything around us is fake. Wow. All right, all right, Lawrence, 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 Lawrence Fitchburn. What the hell? <laughs> Where'd that come from? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, yeah, the tin foil hat. Did, did they tell you about the weather machines? Yeah. Don't you see this hurricane? <laughs> what the fuck? How does Florida have two hurricanes back to back? What the mm. hell? <laughs> Man made. Man made, nigga. Category six. Huh? What? <laughs> mm. See, the hurricane's made of the chemtrails. <laughs> That's why the world is flat. Mm. Mm. Think about it. Think about it. All you have to do is think about it. You know, it. this is all weather technology by Dr. Yaku. Mm. All you got to do is think about it a little bit. Oh, my God. Everything makes sense when you think about it. Mm -hmm. Speaking of hurricane, everybody, uh, if anybody's in that area, be safe. Be safe, um, for real. Not even be safe. Get the fuck out of there. You got it already. <laughs> that's part of the be yeah, safe. Yeah, yeah, that is part of it. Please get out of there. It's not looking good. And all the people that's dealing with Helene, yeah. looking out for y'all, be safe, all that good stuff. Yeah. Back to back oh. hurricanes is terrible. It's crazy. Um, I heard like part of Mexico is going to get a little bit worse than Florida would, mm. but it's still going to be terrible when it hits land. So y'all be safe, mm. please. Yeah, be safe indeed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But yeah, uh, yeah, that was cool. I don't think I don't think I did anything else. No, that's that's it for that me. Sounds about right. Very stale weekend. All uh, my weekends are stale. All your weekends are stale. Yeah. Buddy? Yeah, you don't just, do shit no more. Uh, no, nah, I be doing stuff. It's just uh, nothing pod worthy. Mm -mm. Nothing pod worthy. Actually, no, I haven't done nothing in a weekend in a while. Because yeah. I mean, what, by the time you're done working, you just want to go to sleep. Facts. I don't blame. I don't every do time, something. every single time, it I doesn't home, fail. When I woke up today, the first thing I said to myself is, "Boy, I can't wait to get home, take a nap." Mm -hmm. <laughs> I couldn't wait, but mm -hmm. I had to, I forced myself to go to the gym, and then after that. Mm. I was gonna do that, but by the time I got off, that's when everybody else was getting off, and then the gym was gonna be packed. And I hate working out in a packed gym. Yeah, it's probably one of the worst things in the world. It's terrible. That's um, why I make sure I get there before, like, like three thirty. Like, I get there like three thirty, like two three o'clock. Yeah. That's the perfect time. Because as long as you're out of there by five, you're good. You're good. Smooth sailing. Yeah. yeah. Well, don't you agree, Mike? That's like the best time to go to the gym. Well, I never can get there at two, three o'clock. So I work till after that. So that's even irrelevant. I don't even think about those things. Mm. Oh, damn. So I usually only get the the earliest I can probably get to a gym, <laughs> like four fifty, four thirty. No, nah, we can get. But there it if I get out of work at four before work, do you want me to before suck my dick? We used like, to do it. Yeah. When, what's the key word? Used to. Right. I don't do that shit because no fucking you because you bailed on me. Right. You bailed on me. No, I'm saying the still devil is a lie. You said I want to go to Crunch or whatever the hell you go to. I still, bro. I had to end my Planet Fitness membership because you wasn't going with me. I only got the membership because of you. That's what cool. do we got this week? Damn, you still swim? Yeah. When was the last time you swam? I told you Wednesday. Have you started counting your laps yet? I don't need to count my laps. Yes, you do. Why not? For what? To see progression. Set a goal. My goal is to go. Hit a mark? Oh. Okay. Going is a good step. You've been going consistently now. Now let's push yeah. yourself. Now let's find your why. Exactly. Why? Why would I push myself? Why would I? Yeah. Why would I push myself? Because that's the purpose. So what's your goal? What's your goal? My goal is just keep going. My goal is to not stop going. Mm. And then. Well, my goal is to never stop going. The salesman in me will ask me, well, why would you? Why? Why is that your goal? Because I have a history of not going. Mm. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Because I'm lazy. Okay. So, my, so you don't know how you end your laziness? You keep, a, keep going. Yeah, you keep going. You set a goal. Exactly. My goal is to keep going. Because because once you hit <laughs> we that We keep goal. talking in circles, guys. <laughs> nah, my nah. goal is to consistently not stop going. And I'm doing great. I think in about a year or two, we can talk about pushing myself. A year or a two? A year or two? I'm just joking. No, you're not. <laughs> I'm just joking. No, you're not. How long have you been going now, though? Like, how, how consistent have you been? About two, at least twice a week. 
So I usually go Wednesdays and Fridays after work. Just give me a minimum of six laps. Oh, I'd already do more than that. That's oh, that, three up, three back. I do at least ten. If I can, I do about ten for let's, sure. Let's go fifteen. Hmm. Nah, what about it was six? Let's, well, you told me that you, you were said 10. you did more than that. Exactly. So why I pushed would, myself. To this why I got to go fifteen. Let's eleven. Nah. One more up and back? Now you can do five more. You can do five more, for sure. <laughs> no, not, not you one, do five more. one more. One more is crazy. 500% more. Yeah, yeah, hey. Is there an issue? Yeah, the 500% part. Percent part. Nah. Um, you said it. Mm, we'll see. But yeah, I definitely do it. Uh, We're trying to get you to medium size, Michael. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine. We do. Yeah, that is a goal. Wishful thinking. Yeah. That's like a medium mic. We try and get you in the 3X by <coughs> the end of 2026. Damn. Nah, that's two years. I was like, damn, that long? <laughs> oh. You don't want to push yourself, so yeah, I gave exactly. you until 26. Yeah, I mean, All right, that's cool. I can work with that. 26. <laughs> because where you at now? Four? Yeah. Yeah. We try. <laughs> oh, if you only... He was crunching numbers just now. He's like, so I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Depends on the cut. Of I, shirt. I was being nice by asking if he was a four because I thought it was higher. But if you only had a four, we can get you a three X quicker than twenty six. Depends on the cut. Depends on the cut. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you got it. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> Use that shit. You know. Rainbow. Right. Hey um, man, <laughs> but um, yeah, I don't. Do we even have a lot? I know. Really. We'll talk about uh, uh, the big tragedy that has swept the nation. Um, Hallie and DDG have broken up, guys. <laughs> what are we gonna do? I don't know what we're gonna do. I mean, it seemed like everybody was happy about it except for for DDG. No. Uh, the usual the usual suspects are happy about that. No fuck. What's your name? Summer Walker. Everybody was happy about it except for Summer Walker. What would she have to say? You ain't see her post on the shade room. She was like, was she "Figure crying? it out before I, I give up on love completely." What the fuck? <laughs> well, I, I'm guessing she liked them too. They as look a like pair. a really nice. I mean, they Harry, are. They seem really good as a pair. Summer Walker is a fucking idiot though. But either way, ah, um, hey, yeah. man. I mean, hearing that from her. I could talk about her. We birthday twins, so it's like we got that kind of relationship where I could talk about her like that. <laughs> we birthday twins. Mm -hmm. Y'all cool like that? Cool that, like that. That's so your birthday like, celebrity twin? Yeah. It's her and uh, I forget who else. Who's your birthday celebrity twin, Mike? I don't think I have one. No one? We never looked I, this up before? No. I gotta see. MJ, you um, got birthday celebrity twin? I know mine is Trey Songs. Sorry to hear that. Uh, what you said. You know what? <laughs> I'll, I will take that because he put out a project on our birthday and that shit was ass. Probably one of his ass projects of all time. Oh, I got a, I got a couple. Yeah, who's your birthday twin, Mike? <gasps> oh, is that my girl? Oh, damn, I got a few. Damn, okay, huh. I'm tripping. Wait, which website are you on? I just do people born on such okay. and such. I got Camilla Cabello. Oh, that's a good one. Jessica Bill. Alexander Graham Bell, the man who made the telephone. <laughs> okay. Alexis Fields. Don't know who that is. Uh, she was on the uh, wait, 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 Secret wait. World of the Secret World wait. of Alex Mack. You, you Technically, just... twin is like same year. Oh well, man, that's a lot. Though. Man, that's <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we just that's gonna go with possible. that. Possible. I know oh, it's yeah, possible, but cool. like, the yeah. oh shit, I know. No, find out. It's possible because Jackie Joyner Kersey. Mine has a lot of white people. I mean, oh, hey. Jason Tatum, uh, me and David Banner, me and Chameleonaire. He he has a lot of money. He does. Chameleonaire. Yeah, you didn't know. You One of the biggest finessers of all time. Yeah, you know. Yeah, he's, about his, um, he's like a tech business? company, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Me and John Stewart. Oh, That's a good one. And in Nicole Smith. Huh. R.I.P. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, Cake Boss, Buddy Velastro. Wait, oh, the is it the like the the person who runs it? Yeah, yeah the, the uh, Cake Boss. I've, yeah. I've never watched Cake Boss. Oh you wow, never watched, that was a good show. Wasn't it based in Jersey though? I worked, too? Yeah, I worked yeah, in Hoboken. I worked on that show. Really? Yeah, I've been to his house. His I used to, house, oh, house, used to house watch that shit religiously. I believe it. You'll love this. Is it, is it cake? A lot of cake. <laughs> you love this. You got a lot of cars. Uh, remember Desh Deshaun Raw. Really? Who was that? Hot Psych, I, I, that's I the wrong say, number. I was at Hot Damn I Rock. Yeah, that's super super hot fire. Super hot. And also the guy with the glasses from uh, 
Black, Black Eyed God. Peas. Montana am? of no. 300. Yeah. The one with the mohawk. I don't know. I, I forget his name. What's his name? APL dot D E dot A P. What? What was that code? That's what the fuck it says. No fucking way. <laughs> Mine is just a lot of white people and like YouTubers. I don't even know how they know these people's names or birthdays. Uh, I seen Ken Carson on here. You heard him, Mike? I've heard of him. I, I, I'm aware of I'm aware of that person. Yeah. Um, no clue who that is. Everyone else is just a fucking loser. It looks like <laughs> it's just me and Summer Walker. I got a bunch and David Banner. I got a top one. Ah, I got Dustin Rhodes. You're all using his device right now. Steve Jobs. Yeah. Shout out to him. Hot damn. That's a good one. That's I got damn. a bunch, but then I, that's, that's, a, that's a damn good one. Do you know who Deli Ali is, Mike? He's a soccer player. Let me see him. Oh, Deli Ali, yeah. Oh, yeah, me and him. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't. Sorry. I've always known me and, me and Floyd. Floyd, Floyd he's, Mayweather? He's, he's, exact, he's exactly to her? 10 years older than me. Wow. Mm. But wait to her. But wait to her. <laughs> I'm Floyd, but wait to her. <laughs> yeah, his his video of him uh him trying to read that thing. He said, "If you can read ten pages out of a Harry Potter book, nigga." Oh my god, he said, "Earn, earn, <laughs> strike." <laughs> he can't read. Can't read worth a goddamn. I can't read. But yeah, like yeah, the usual suspects were happy about that. Uh, oh yeah, them breaking up, which I think is always weird behavior. Yeah, um, women who are like who the women. It's the women who. Well, I'm not gonna say that. It's yes, the, it's the people who the think, people. They know these people. You mm -hmm. do not know Halle or DDG. Not at all. You don't like, know him. And people are like, oh, Halle makes more money than him and she's more successful and, and they don't make sense and da-da-da-da. You can good. say all that, but you everything you're saying is is from the outside looking in. You know nothing about this nigga's personality. You don't know. All you know is what he shows you. And the <laughs> yeah, same thing goes for Halle. Halle could, Halle could be a bitch. She she could be an evil person. We don't know. We don't know. You know why we don't know? Because you don't know her. At the end of the day, <laughs> no, you don't know these you people. Can talk about like who's more famous. Like, at the end of the day, I don't care about none of their music. Hold on now. Well, hold on. Hold on. Hold, hold on now. You don't care about Hallie? Listen, uh, it's personal. Person. I need another Chloe and Hallie album. Yeah, they need to do because in the lonely hour, that 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 album. Do was, it. Do okay. It. Do it. Okay, but if I never got one I again, wonder what she all right. thinks of me when you're not at home. Mm. Listen, bro, they 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 got some those two yeah, melodies. They, they make good music together. Together, yes. Sure. Apart, apart. It's just, eh, it's okay. It's fine. It's sure. okay. It's better it's, when it's together. It's, it's just okay. Yeah. Sure. But together, yeah. I think it's all just okay. But the main thing with this whole break, I think it's all. I think it's all just okay. I think like a hater. Exactly. It's not a hater. It's just it, it's whatever. Like it was this one song that if I they caught, never you know, make another, I was like, all right, I'm. I just. Uh, well, you, I mean, you, you know, the do it song is very good. I like that. I do enjoy that. Um, I feel like that's just not your brand of music anyway. Like it's kind of like uh, pop and R and B at the same time. I feel like it, that's just not your brand. Can't agree with that. I can, but also. Uh, Huh. What pop music do you listen to? What pop music do I listen to? Yeah, what would you consider pop? Like, oh, I fuck with it. I don't know. What was the last pop song you liked? You would have to start naming them because I can't remember like the latest like one that's like really, really. Do you, are, are there any pop artists that like that you have saved in your phone? Well, so I can tell you all the best pop song Absolutely. ever made. Go ahead, start rattling them off. The best pop song ever made is "Jealous" by Nick Jonas. I don't even know what that is. <gasps> you you know the song. I get so yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, that that is fire. No, not too much. They, they be striking us. Facts. Oh yeah. <laughs> Brought the they choir be, in. They be striking the fuck out of us. Facts. For singing it, mm -hmm. bro. If it sounds remotely to the song. Yep. That's crazy. We might get one for the Chloe Haley show. Wow. Yeah. No, but yeah, that that that's my shit. You know, uh, what, you know what's really bad. I'm sorry, uh, mm -hmm. Chloe, and, and I love me some Chloe uh, Bailey. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That one song she got out right now. Oh my! Oh, God. she got some stinkers, huh? Sorry. She got some <laughs> stinky dinkies. She has a lot of bad music. Yeah, mm -hmm. this is one song she got. Why? Stupid motherfucker! It's the worst shit I've ever heard. You know the problem? In my life. Like, just play the video on mute, please. She has the J Cole issue, and that issue is she produces her own music. Does she? Mm -hmm. She's stop. very, very talented. Oh, she's got to stop that. Yeah, but she produces a lot of that herself. She's it's too much. It's yeah. too much. It's some. We need some outside. Yeah, a lot of that input she does in. herself. Um, 
I don't, yeah. me personally, I think what her issue is, um, so she, she, she likes to say like, don't sexualize me. Oh, does she say don't, don't sexualize uh, don't, me? You don't have to go here. We don't have to go here. But like her music. We don't have to go is, here. So it's like, it's almost like it's a persona and it's not like who she is. <laughs> And that's why I feel like is the difference. Oh, of, you feel like it's like it's forced. Yeah, like I I think that's what the issue is. It's just like that's not really you, but like a lot of your music and like your videos is portraying towards that, and you come out like, oh yeah, that's not me. I'm just so I'm learning about this. It's a fine line of you know sexualizing somebody. Yeah, somebody just being themselves. Yeah, like uh, Angel Reese is going through it. Yeah, yeah. So. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? She's like, oh, people over-sexualize me. Like, I'm kind of tired of that. Like, she'll just be on the court. You know what I'm saying? People are going to be like, oh. And I think that's like, or she'll just have on something very or like, regular. Or like, she'll be part of like the swimsuit edition of ESPN and they'll be like, oh, look at that. Look at that fucking slut. Like, no, she just got a bathing suit on. It's just, listen, I don't want to go down this road. Yes, Mike. Mike, you don't want to do this. I just saw a girl get ripped to shreds on Twitter for this. Please. We are I, not. I, I we are not. We put on that situation. I'm trying to save us. All I want to say is you're not going out like them niggas from across the pond. That last video she put out don't, of don't, her walking out. Don't, oh, she's bad as hell. Good God. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh yeah. I know she doesn't want to be sexualized, but can I just sexualize her for four seconds? Is that sexualizing her? Or just saying she look good. God damn, she look good. I don't think so. That's all I got to say. Is that sexual? That's all I got. She did look good as hell. I'm not saying nothing else. She was switching her waist hard as hell. Trying that, to rock that I'm booty. like, I woo, like that, woo. Rock that little booty hat. I was like, mm-hmm. Do you, though? But, mm-hmm. We at the Not That Serious Podcast Studios and Media Mogul, Mogul Incorporated support that there. Support all of that. <laughs> okay. All of that. And the most Woo. positive way. I'm not Good gonna, for yeah. her. Yeah. She <laughs> was gonna. snubbed. Mm-hmm. She do look good. Snubbed to what? For rookie of the year. Nah. Yeah, I go by how bad they are. She was snubbed. Wow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> she was snubbed. Sure. <laughs> Kaiser, Kaiser Goodrich was snubbed for MVP. Uh, All the baddies are snubbed. snubbed. MVP, how the fuck did the Aces get beat like that? Okay, we don't need to talk about Hey, man, Liberty got their leg back. That they, shit is crazy. They got their leg back. They... First round, though. Was like, damn. <laughs> they got their what oh, no, back? Second round. I'm sorry. Second round? Yeah. Oh, okay, no, I thought it was first. Second round. No. Um... What? Shut up, Mike. They got their leg back. WNBA lesbians. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I do like about the WNBA though. I seen somebody else say this too, like how open they are with their relationships. Yeah, like they, it's just, they it's all be cool. dating each other. Yeah, it's that, cool I mean see. that's like, cool. That doesn't happen in any other sport. No. Do you think? No. You think that? No, no, no. I like, I'm, I mean, it happens as far as like competitiveness. You think that could be like a like in the way robot? Yeah, yeah. like because I'm like saying like I'm on my team and then you know. My girlfriend's on the other team, and it's like, so I think we spoke about. So we might have spoke about this briefly. Yeah, there was an incident where, uh, so these two girls they used to date, but mm-hmm. they're no longer dating, and they were on separate teams, mm-hmm. and a uh, little squirmish happened where the girlfriend and the teammate was fighting, mm-hmm. and the girl grabbed the teammate. Was like, the nah, girl, you, you yeah. ain't going. Like, hey, that's my little. That's my little. Yeah, yeah. yeah the girl grabbed her own teammate. Like, yo, back the fuck up. <laughs> like, yeah. hey, yo, that's my little. Yeah, yeah relax. Like, oh shit. Yeah. So that was interesting. Yes. Yeah. But <laughs> yeah. other than that, like, I don't. I don't okay. That's all. That's the only reason I'm coming at, like, mm. yeah, it doesn't seem like it's a distraction or anything. Mm-mm. Because here's the thing like, if, if, if it, for, for me, that would just give me more fire. Like, oh, I, I'm about to bust your ass and then we're going to go home together. And I'm going to remind bust you. Bust your ass. And bust, <laughs> you horny. bust your ass twice. That is the horniest way to play a game. <laughs> that is the horniest way to play anything. It's like, I'm about to give you 40 and now I'm about to give you 20. Wow. And I'm 20? <laughs> 20 pumps? He knows from experience. Hey. Because she busts his ass. She do. <laughs> yes, she does. No, she doesn't. She nice. That's what I heard. No, I heard. That is a, I heard that she is be a, cooking that your that ass. Division one basketball And then she player. go home and bust your ass. <laughs> yep. No. Then she get right you over. 20. <laughs> now bend over, nigga. Why her voice so deep? <laughs> the fuck? Get in the post. <laughs> Get in the paint, bitch. Back it down. Okay. Put your legs Alrighty. up. Alrighty. Alrighty. Next, ne- next topic. Heels ne- towards the sky. Touch angles. Mordecai. Next Mordecai. topic. What, we, what else we got? Uh, <laughs> something about a break. Actually, no. Make we, it wink. Y'all want to get into... Uh, <laughs> 
So we put a question into the Instagram <laughs> channel with our beta brigade. Yo, make it wink is nuts. <laughs> and we got some great responses. That's a tough one. <laughs> some, some very good responses. Yeah, the answer is one girlfriend was beating her boyfriend in basketball. <laughs> then he made her make it wink in the bathroom. <laughs> Why? <laughs> so we asked, <laughs> we asked our beta brigade, what's mm. the story from high school or college. Oh, man. And bro. And boy, <laughs> boy. Oh, biggity you know boy. I, okay, so when we put this question up, I knew there was going to be some crazy shit, but there was nothing to prepare me for some of the things that people were writing. Like, this shit is actually crazy. Very much so. This shit is crazy. So, how y'all want to do this? Y'all, y'all, y'all want to give some of the, the the remarks and then give some of the voicemails because some people left his voicemails because it wasn't enough characters to tell the story. Yeah, I was about to say, so regardless of if we say it now, whatever they say in the voicemail is not, it, like, it's going to amplify the story. So we're not ruining anything. Exactly. Um, you want to go first? But yeah, so I'll start off. So we had a teacher and student ran away, found a different city, no, no jail time. Huh? Like, that's so, kidnapping. So the teacher and the student, they ran away. That's kidnapping and child endangerment. Moved to a different city. No jail time for him, though. He must have been 18. That's some shit they straight out of a lifetime movie. Because you have to get, like, a kidnapping charge. Yeah. Yeah. But the thing is, um, you have to. Yeah. Facts, I didn't even think of that. Have to. He must be, like, an 18-year-old student. It has to be. But even still, like, isn't there still some kind of laws where it's, like, You're an adult. like, a uh, uh, a position of power type thing. You're mm -hmm. an adult. So like you should still get jail time for that? Cause they may be eighteen, but because you're in a position of power and it's Um no. no. Eighteen. I don't think you can you can I think when a student is eighteen, you just get fired. You can't like get criminal. You are having sex with an adult. Technically. Technically. You still know. nasty though. Still very you're nasty. Not, you're not any less and weird. Creepy to me. and weird and you're weird if you get into that. Yeah. Or have desires or anything like that. You're weird and you need to be banished yeah. to the deepest pits of hell. You're weird, just like the people who wait for students to graduate and then you fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like, like the people who wait for people to graduate and then you fuck. You're still weird. Yeah, <laughs> as, I don't soon, care. as soon as she gets that diploma, you're still a predator. Yeah, you're nasty. You're still a predator, bro. Um, um oh, you want to go? Yeah, I got one. Me and three teammates got uh, our scholarships taken away because we were running a train on a girl. Now, damn, wow, that's some um, bad shit. Yeah, hope you went first. Um, but <laughs> wait, what? Why would they get that? What? Why? Why? Uh, what? Why? Yeah, why would they get their scholarship taken away? Honestly, because maybe some sexual misconduct. Maybe yeah. she might have. If she said it wasn't consensual, yeah, people found out about it. Because it sounds like a, he's if there's a video. He sounds, sounds like, like he's probably leaving a video. something out. Something, sounds like yeah. there's probably video. Or vi something, or video. Something is absolutely getting left out. Something that made it very embarrassing. Yeah. And obviously, these niggas weren't nice enough to not have their scholarships taken away. Mm -hmm. Because or it's some small school where it's like, yeah. yeah. And I highly doubt he went to BYU. Oh shit. Um, Principal got fired for having honor students take other kids' exit exams. I don't see a problem with that. You can't do that. I don't see a problem with it. <laughs> other kids are taking exams. I don't see a problem with it. Why? I feel <laughs> like, well, you know what? I, it depends on who these kids are. Mm. I feel like this is like an athlete situation, maybe. And if, like, if it's an athlete situation, it's like they need to get to school. Fuck it. Why not? What's other kids though? That's crazy. Now other kids, I mean, it's other. Uh, it's honor students taking tests for other kids. <laughs> it's like a sweatshop in there. Oh yo. Okay. Uh, I mean, all right. We get into the nasty stuff. I said we went too easy. Yeah, yeah some, we, now, these are these are jazz. Now, there's now, some disturbing. Now things it's time here. to get a little freaky. Okay. Okay. Uh, so this girl took a video of her sucking dog dick. No, no, I'm. That's that one, a lot. That's, that I one deeply disturbed me. I don't believe that. I, I definitely. Oh, believe that. You don't think people out here sucking dog dick? You don't remember the girl that went viral for putting a bloody tampon in her mouth? Remember that? You never seen a video of the white girl fucking a horse? Definitely seen that. Yeah, yeah. And uh, then I think it was the same girl that that was then getting pounded by a pit bull. I did see that. Yeah. yeah. I see some really rough stuff on there. Jesus Christ. Um, yeah, why are we uh, out here fucking animals? Ugh. Yeah. Uh, my weird-ass AP history teacher shit himself in first period. <laughs> I 
<laughs> as a grown adult. Hilarious. As a grown ass adult. He can't he can't get work your there. ass up and go to the fucking bathroom. He can't work there anymore. He can't work anywhere anymore. You gotta get out the district. You gotta get out the county. <laughs> you gotta you gotta get out the county. You gotta be an election. Yeah, you gotta go you gotta take up welding. Wherever you live, go north. <laughs> like um this one was kind of crazy to me. Principal used the school security as a way to move her boyfriend's drugs to the kids. What type of James hey, St. Patrick yo, shit is that's that? That's kind of No. That's, hey man. That's kind of some some That's that, that's some smart shit. No, it's not. You're the principal. Hey. You're the principal. Hey. Girl stuff sweet as fish upper cooter and fed them to people. That's <laughs> Why would you I'm tell you I'm tell you one thing. If I, if like a girl or somebody gave me Swedish fish and I go, oh, thank you, and I eat them, and then I find out it came out of her cooter, she's getting in the scope. Headshot. She's getting I'm in the scope. I'm acting like those, these YNs, nigga. I'm just... <laughs> yeah, just... <laughs> like the, 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 Sidebar, you niggas have to relax with these fucking celebrations. Yeah, it's like... It's getting out of hand. I seen one nigga, he did the seatbelt strap, and then he fucking lifted his shirt, took the gun out, and was like, pow, pow, pow. They, yeah. CR penalty. You, you and you Thank every God. time you Thank should God. get it. Yeah, get it every time. Yeah, that those just, celebrations always. The nigga from South Carolina over top of the quarterback. Like, just, 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 yeah. just leave the guns alone. Leave, leave the guns out of the game. Leave it alone. We're playing football now. With the NFL, like a lot of them, how how like they do like the uh, first down, like they go like this. That's fine. That's not even. A well, gun. no, that's. Oh, they're making a gun now. They're starting to get flagged on that too. Oh, because they're going like that? Yeah, because... That, that's what CeeDee Lamb does, right? Flag. That's corny. Very. Something that they've been doing for years, but now because everybody's out here just pulling out yeah. fucking yeah, straps like it was, shit. It was every, fun. Like the first couple times I saw it, I was like, all right, but now it's like getting out of hand. It makes me uncomfortable. It's like, ew, like, Ugh. nigga, you can't think of nothing else. Yeah, like, nigga, why? Just... Why are you imitating killing a nigga on the... F- <laughs> you're like, what? murder? Murder is that... That's murder. You, like, god damn, murder? nigga. Murdered, murdered, murdered who? Like that's 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 what you automatically go to. Like nigga, we don't just do the spinner Rooney and keep it moving. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Um. Is it my turn? Or your turn? I I got one. Yes. Guidance counselor got them cheeks clapped by a special needs kid. That's just abuse. <laughs> <laughs> That's abuse in so many ways. It's a lot of things. Uh, it's no, a lot we, of things. Mm. But I heard they're superhumans. I mm, <laughs> now. Mm. That's crazy. I'm yeah. not. Yeah, I'm yeah, just. No, gonna, I'm gonna leave that there. Just gonna leave that there. Alone. I got one more. Teacher's daughter was in a child sex ring with all the other teachers. Oh my fucking god. It's a lot of uh teachers out here fucking students. Yeah, man. Yeah, that, that was a lot. There's a lot. It's of a that. lot of teachers fucking students. Here's one that's a little more wholesome. Teachers stole our class trip money and we were stranded in Florida. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> she stole the class the trip hell? money. And they were stranded. And left the kids stranded. That's fucking crazy. <laughs> so what, she only took fun. half of it? Because, like, how'd they get there? No idea. Don't know. Maybe, like, like, maybe on a field trip, it was like, hey, your, your parents give you money to, like, buy stuff or, like... And they turned the money in. Turned the money in, and mm-hmm. then she just made off with all the money. And That's left the motherfuckers crazy. out in Florida. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, uh, this one was funny. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Girls tricked this boy into sticking a marker up his a hole, and they posted it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? He deserves it. How do you get tricked into doing? He that? didn't get tricked. Like, he, he didn't, didn't get, get tricked. tricked. He thought he was about to be cool after that. That's no. Like, oh, is this how the girls will like me? It's no way. That's it's what it was. no way. You in your mind? He thought he was gonna get some buns after that. He did. He thought he was gonna get some buns. How in the fuck do you think the path to buns is me sodomizing myself with a marker? And then she probably lied to him. Like, somehow, yeah, it'll, some, be, it'll be so hot if and, you do it. They and, just lied to him. And, uh, and then also, and <sighs> also, they posted it, which mm. means there's a picture or video mm. of this boy with a fucking sharpie, with a ass. fucking magic marker sharpie, 
up his ass. Yeah, that's a bad joint. And then, they probably just lied. Oh, Rachel said she'll suck your dick if you put this mark in your ass. I hope it wasn't permanent. Ah! <laughs> Rammed it. Yikes. Um, this person said, fuck my high school math teacher. Ended up engaged to him for three years. That nigga needs to go to jail. In, imprison him. I'm oh, uh, and make it a, a, a cage deep in the pits of uh, Hades. Yeah. All righty. I want to play some of these. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Okay. So who's connected? I'm connected. Like, I'm ready okay. to go. But uh, yeah, let's go through some of these. So shout out to everybody that left a voicemail in regarding regards to this uh question. Um. So there, we got a few. Yeah. All right. Let's see. We're gonna start with this one. <laughs> This has nothing to do with that, but um, what? Well, it's just a random one. Yeah, but we'll we'll we'll, we'll nah, save that one. Yeah, save, we'll save yeah, that yeah, one. Yeah. Well, why why you find the next one? Somebody said that the Phantom Pooper. Oh, a, I didn't see this. A dude to took shits on bathroom counters for years and never got caught. That's crazy. Why is he going to the bathroom and just shitting on counters? He got he gets he gets a it's like a kink. That's that's he's fucking getting, disgusting. He's getting, he's getting off to it. That's fucking disgusting. It's him not getting caught. It just gives him a rush. It's like <sighs> there's there's an that episode of Bob's Burgers about that. Yeah, somebody shitting on a counter. Yep, no, it was it's like called the movie. Mad Pooper. Like yeah. that's what they, that's what they called it. It's I feel kid. like that's actually a common thing. Kid was just going around pooping in places and just like mysteriously mm. leaving dookies. <laughs> <laughs> all just plopping dookies <laughs> plop, plop, all plop, around plop, the school dude. grounds and just plop, plop. Then, called the mad pooper and right. then it ended with him trying to lay a poop off of like the scaffolding and like the performing arts like center of the place that, been tough. that was the big one yeah that's the big finish yeah uh big old dookie on someone's head that been tough but uh i have one okay well here's here's the voicemail let's let's are we ready yeah let's get it I'm ready all right You're not connected. That's that's on your phone. You're not. Yeah, that was. I thought I was okay. <laughs> yeah, I am connected. Uh, it's not coming through. Uh, I think it was. That sounded like it was coming from his phone. It did. Try one more time. I'm tripping. Did you hear that? Oh yeah, oh, okay. so it's coming through his phone. Yeah, it's coming through your phone. Uh, disconnect oh, goodness, and disconnect we're, again. We're, we're acting broke. Yeah, we are. There's some broke shit. No, no, no. no disconnect and, act and connect again. Mm. Quick, 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 quick. There you go. I'm trying as fast as I can. You know? All right. Well, while Mike is doing that again. Okay. Uh, it's literally not. Okay. Go ahead. What, you're not connected at all? No, I was connected. I seen it. Okay. It was... <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Mm. Lamont shaking his head. Exactly. Yeah, Lamont is very <laughs> upset right now. <laughs> He's like, what the fuck? So somebody else sent in uh dude try exposing his girlfriend by posting a video, a video of her fucking herself with a hairbrush, but instead she won prom queen queen that year. You know what? Prom queen. <laughs> <laughs> prom queef. Prom queen. Is that the name of the episode? Prom? <laughs> prom queen. I definitely put something down already. I forget what I put down. Michael. I'm listen. I'm trying to. Oh, let's pause for a second. Is nothing coming out? How do we? Well, yeah, you do it. Sorry about that. We figured it out. I mean, y'all didn't hear any different. But right, yeah, here we go. All right, I'm gonna try to make this story uh, this long story a little bit shorter. Um, but back in like 2010, I went to school with a girl named Candice. Um, very cutesy, very quiet. She ain't really follow nobody. She barely even talked. Hmm. But back in 2010, she went missing. Um, fast forward like six or seven months. There's these woods behind this apartment complex. They got like a little trail. People, you know, take a little shortcut through there every now and then. But one day somebody stumbles upon like what they think is human remains. So they call the police. And the police go out there. And it is in fact skeletal, skeletal remains um, found under a mattress in the woods. Ugh. So, at, apparently, at this time, that at the time that she went missing, there was also this Hispanic man who he was kind of going on a little 
serial killer type of rampage. But when they approached him about it, he was like, all right, I did all of these. But Candace, <laughs> that does not my work. <laughs> so wow. That case kind of I'm not that sloppy. for a little bit. Um, then fast forward, I want to say like a year after she initially went missing, her mom is packing up the house, getting ready to move. Hmm? And she stumbles across the girl's diary. And one of the entries in the diary basically is just detailing an attempted rape. Um, and y'all know I never cared. Marcia Yigman and Jermaine Robinson, um, they attempted to rape her. She did end up getting away. Um, and I think. Nope. Phone went sleep. Mm-hmm. It basically is just detailing. And she went missing. Her mom is packing up the house getting ready to move and she stumbled across the girl's diary and one of the entries in the diary basically is just detailing an attempted rape um and y'all know i never cared Marche yigman Ooh. and jermaine robinson well <laughs> um they attempted to rape her she did end up getting away um and i think just the idea that she might tell is what drove him to kind of kill her but a few months after that he he basically murdered her in that same little trail, and he put the mattress over her body. And come to find out, he was checking up on her over the months, over what? months, um, just making sure she was still there. What the? So that's fuck? like a long story, real short. I guess in conclusion, to Marche, your big, wide, burly back, beluga whale built ass. I really hope you never see the light of fucking day. I actually wish nothing but the worst for you. Mm. And just mm. like that Facebook message um, that you sent me a couple months ago, uh, I hope you just sit there and fucking rot. All right, y'all have a good one. Bye, y'all. Um, she sent her a message. I there's mm. more questions. No, I think the guy sent her. The guy that was sent her a message. What the fuck is wrong with him? So I know that voice. Twenty six seconds. Yeah, you do. <laughs> Also, I meant to say that um, it was a couple of documentaries made on on the story or whatever. For sure, off the top of my head, I know um, how I caught my killer. That was on season one, episode two, and but I, I think it was also an episode on um, Fatal Attraction as well. But yeah, I thought I should mention that too. Ain't much also, of an attraction. Just let me know if I need to call the warden and tell that man he got a phone because I'll do it. All right, bye. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. Wow. Fatal Attraction is my shit, too. Yeah. That uh, is, what is that? It's a yeah. show. Yeah, so it's a show that comes on ID. Mm. ID. One of those crime uh, yeah. crime investigators. I used to, I used to be crime really heavy into those. Jones. I used to watch all those crime shows really heavy. I think mean, that's why now I would be looking at like a lot of prison shit. Um, but yeah, always good stuff. That's all right. Um, that's. Let's see. Let's see. That was crazy. God right, damn. Let's try this one. <laughs> See, you know, I never cared. Gay, okay, full government. All right, so boom, what's up, fellas? Uh, long time listener. Uh, big beat of a game. Um, anyway, so well, thank you. I'm going to try and keep names out of it because I don't really want to reserve a shit for people like my boys. <laughs> so anyway, um, I it I'm going to start with the most recent. So back in 2023, um, there was a teacher that got arrested for child pornography this? at the high school. Why do you say back in 2023 like it was like oh, last year? Like it was a long, like <laughs> way back in <laughs> last year. Way brother. back in six months ago. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, oh, last year, brother. You know, I think it's messaging. For child right. pornography at the high school. Mm. There was a teacher that got arrested for child pornography at the high school. Mm. Only reason I know this is because I'm, so I'm, and I'm from Hilton Head, South Carolina. I was messaged up. What up? It's DC Boy again. <laughs> Here is the uh, original um, uh, voicemail for like the explanation of what happened. Okay. So this happened again. Hilton Head is so small, which is where I'm from. Everybody knew about this. So to give you context, this happened when I was in middle school, and this happened with one of my homeboys. So my homeboy, his older brother. Was that he literally was that dude? He was that he was that white boy with the J's, fresh out every white girl, every black girl, every Hispanic girl wanted him. He was that he was that dude. Nah, anyway, <laughs> it got out that he had been having a relationship with the Spanish teacher at the high school 
for months. Now, Tough. mind you, to give you context, I'm four years behind my sister. Mm. So she's in high school getting ready to graduate when this happens. I'm getting ready to go into high school after this had happened like a year or two later. But anyway, long story short, this nigga had a whole relationship with the teacher, with the Spanish teacher, and she was what she he was he was fucking her and she was buying them alcohol and cigarettes and getting them weed mm-hmm. and in return for his friend's silence for not saying anything, she would occasionally let them run a train on her. Oh! Moving forward from that, like they were trying to pin down where it started and who knew and they started like they started asking people. They were like, yeah, like, when did this start? He was like, from day one when she had got. So this had begun in the beginning of the school year. He picked her up, like, pretty much first day. Yeah, she died. Damn. But, like, that nigga went down in Hilton Head High School and Hilton Head history legend as a kid. I'm just like, oh, this nigga literally went and fucked the teacher, had a relationship for months. And the only reason they got caught was because the kids got pulled over with the alcohol and they snitched on where on where they got her. Oh, Again, oh. I would say names. Pause. But I ain't- oh. I- I'm definitely taking the L. I mean, yeah, I'm going down. but they're scared. They're kids. They don't know what to do. I know, but if like uh, underage, you're like, oh, the cops are like, oh, where, where'd you get that from? Or you're going to jail. I'm going. <laughs> Y'all I'm going. To jail, That's crazy, bro. So I, keep, them I, the, I got it from the teacher. I, <laughs> he's trying to beat it up. I ain't trying to bring it up again. Um, but yeah, that nigga is still that nigga. Like, probably <laughs> could be pulling bitches. He was him. And it was, it, it was so bad. It rocked the whole school. Like, they started monitoring kids in the high school and in middle school like crazy. And if you look at Hilton Head high school teachers and you search them up on online, you'll oh. see that there are multiple cases Ooh. that have happened with similar where teachers are buying drugs or alcohol for students. Some of the teachers, they don't look all that great. Some of them teachers, I'm like, damn, where was you at when I was in high school? Let me stop. I shouldn't say that that's bad. <laughs> yeah, that anyway, is bad. That yeah, is bad. You're right. That story. Uh, fuck with y'all niggas heavy. Mike, Oh, my boy. dog, oh. LZ, I love watching you. I love you mixes. Thanks, uh, Dr. Walsh, you the greatest. MJ, Q. Uh-oh. Y'all my boys. Okay. Keenan, shut the fuck up. Damn. I, 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 I knew, knew that was going. I, I, I read it first. I was like, ah. <laughs> exactly why I started looking at the camera, because yeah. I'm like, we just skipping names now. What you about yeah, to say? Yeah. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. I didn't expect the train. Part. Yeah, that, that was a nice little... Bro, these teachers really get in schools and just be horny. Like, this like, happens bro. so often. Like, this, I'm sure it just happens every day. Just waiting for the next one to get caught. I'm not going to lie. Like, when we asked that question, I was kind of shocked. And I knew I shouldn't be shocked. Yeah. But I was just shocked at how many different issues. Like, yeah, the teacher was fucking this kid. It was overwhelming. This kid had a relationship with the teacher. And you look like you just read something disturbing. Yeah. Uh, it's one of the questions, but yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's just like it's like so many different things. Like, God damn. All right, here's another one. But that kid's cool as shit. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to him. I'm, I'm fire. I bet he's new probably movie. doing so many great things. He's probably love the me. pod. <laughs> I want to start off by saying that. Second of all, I have a question for y'all. So back in the day, uh, when uh niggas was still getting roommates and shit. Oh wait, is this just a question? This has nothing. Yeah. To do. Yeah, never mind. It's just a question. We'll save that for next yeah. time, we'll buddy. That. That'll be yeah for that. Yeah, all that's old. Uh, uh, this What's is the one going about on. So let me elaborate on how that old bitch stole thirty kids' parents' money. Thank you. Oh, this is perfect. perfect. Okay, because I like I didn't understand this. Yeah. If I skip over, this has been over fifteen years. I did a lot of heavy drinking. My memory not might be the oh. best, but here we go. So it was our AP history teacher. And she was like, hey, we're going to plan a school trip or whatever. If you want to go, sign up. Pay your money to ALT Charter. Mind you, keep ALT in mind. Mm. So we all pay our money, all $512. Yes, I still remember. And Hold on, she got $512 for each student. So we're going from Mississippi to Florida. It's not even that far. Um, Not even like a day or so after we get there. We found out, the students and the chaperone teachers found out that the history teacher and her daughter stole the money and left. Now, um, keep in mind that, um, oh yeah, the hotel that we were staying in, 
there were like maybe three or four rooms in total with five or six people. I don't know the math. I I can't think about this shit right now. I don't know the math. And it was um, rooms left over for a basketball tournament, like three or four rooms, real fucked up type shit. Um, come to find out, the bus driver did not want to drive us back because he was in on it too. And we had to like, almost called the police. Um, He wouldn't, I don't know what happened with that, but we ended up getting back. Now, the teacher's name, Althea Taylor, we were making the check out to her using her initials. Crazy, right? (laughs) But (laughs) Don't laugh with us. Just thinking back on it now, it's so fucking ridiculous. Um, And this is a message for Althea Taylor, bitch, if you're still alive, I'm getting all 512 of 12 (laughs) of my coin back and send that up to your bitch ass daughter too because oh. if I see her it's so fight whenever I go home. Mm. Um and yeah that's it. I hope y'all have a great day. Bye. Wow. Okay. Wow. Five hundred dollars did she say how many kids were on this trip? Thirty. What's five what's yeah, what's that? Was that fifteen thousand? Oh s- I don't know. We no, that's cal- like five hundred thirty. We have calculator. That's like no, nah, hold on. That's fifteen thousand. Fifteen thousand. Yeah, fifteen racks. Fifteen racks. That's not a. That's that's not enough to abandon everything. To ruin your, your job you know, prospects. Now, maybe now. Wait, hold up. I just thought about it. They were in Mississippi. Fifteen racks in Mississippi. That's yeah. like he's she's like a millionaire. Yeah, she's a millionaire. They was they was damn near slaves. Yeah, that's like pesos. Fifteen thousand yeah. dollars not enough to be leaving. damn near slaves down there. I mean, now I if it was like fifth, if she did this with like the senior trip money that we paid. Then you definitely you you, you earn that because what it was ours was like over like a thousand dollars, right? Uh, what is this going is on? I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just reading. No. Uh. <laughs> All right, uh, I'm, I'm gonna play. Something. Hey there, guys. Uh, listen to you guys for about a month, not a month, but about uh, over a year now. And uh, I'm the guy that posted about all the sexual shit that happened school with the history teacher and uh, the sex ray. I'll give you all more details on that. So I actually worked with one of the girls the history teacher slept with, so that shit was confirmed for me. Hmm. Uh, basically, he was a younger guy, maybe about 30, mid-30s, somewhere around there, and he would just ask, like, this happened in high school. So he would ask girls that he would find attractive, like his students, and just ask them, hey, do you mind coming over and babysitting? And when they would go babysit his daughters, I might add, um, he would try to make advances on them and stuff like that. And some of them went through, some of them didn't. And uh, according to the girl that I worked with, he was not, Dick was trash, apparently. (laughs) So she uh, went for it. (laughs) Exactly. Um, The girl with the, the, the sex ring, that was a huge fucking scandal. Like police were involved. School got hit, lawsuit, all kinds of shit. Um, basically, this is before I knew it. I fucked her too. I had no idea. (laughs) But um, <laughs> after it came out, me and her fun, a bunch of people called me like, yo, you gotta have sex with just about every other teacher that has slept with her. I didn't even know that shit happened. And it was the fucking theater teacher, the, uh, the zoology teacher. It was a whole sex ring to the point to where, like, there was a group chat between all the male teachers saying who was good at this. And- hey, what? Oh, man. Hey, what? Yo. Nail these niggas to the crucify. What? Crucify these niggas. There was a group chat of the teachers like, yo, you know John in third period? Oh, my God. Busted doing these days. Oh, my God. doing these down. The sophomore? Mm. What? Mm. Nigga, go to hell, bro. Nail, oh. <laughs> like, no, no, no. Oh. Nail these niggas to the cross. They don't deserve that. Nail them to the cross. They you don't know, deserve right? that. Yeah. No, they don't deserve that. They just that. need a good old-fashioned Ibrahim get the stones. Yeah. Stone, stone them. them little little ones too so it takes longer <laughs> with jagged edges what, what the, the fuck oh my that's what wild. was going on there and what was the best way to do that meet up places shit like that where you could get extra credit and shit real like this is a fucking it was literally type. a sex ring it's a fucking and um, <laughs> yeah, it was it, it was uh what's it called fight club <laughs> It was fight club. Pedo club. Pedo club. They just pedo did. club. We don't. We don't talk about. <laughs> the first rule about pedo club is that you don't. You don't talk, talk about, about pedo club. Jesus, bro. 
It ended up being a big deal. A couple teachers got fired. A couple? A couple? Uh, only a couple? Under age at some point. It, 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 was a, it, it was a big deal. There was a lot of sex handles that happened in my high school. Uh, I was one of them because huh? the girl that I was dating a freshman year, I would finger her uh, in, in the class. So we were known as the finger friends, quote unquote. Uh, it was pretty bad. Bro, it was horny. Fucking wild school. But uh, yeah. There's the more details that you guys asked for. Um, love you guys. Please keep continuing to you know, do this podcast. I love listening to it. I'm going to need to start subscribing to that Patreon because give y'all. And you're not even subscribed. So you need, that's why I cut it off. You need to subscribe, brother. Yeah, yeah. We're not even going to listen to the rest. Brother, I would have cut it off in the beginning if I knew you wasn't subscribed, brother. <laughs> I would have cut it off in the beginning if I knew you wasn't subscribed, brother. I would have cut it off in the beginning if I knew you wasn't subscribed to the podcast, brother. I would have got you off the podcast if I knew you wasn't subscribed to the podcast. If brother. that $5 was not subscribed, <laughs> I would have cut you off earlier. That's crazy. Nigga says the same thing 30 times, different 30 ways. Times. It hits each time. Oh, man. That's crazy. That? The snow bunny shit. Don't, was nah, those niggas. The fact that she said, well, a couple teachers is fine. Only a couple. Only a couple. Yeah. Only a couple. They all need to be stoned. Every single one of them. All of them. Every single one of them. Uh, even if, oh, man. Even if you feel. Um, this ain't, bro, teachers are. You know what's so funny? <laughs> what if you got put in this group chat? By accident. by accident and then like you just over here like what the fuck what are y'all talking about is this and now you're like implicated because you're in it now, now but you but you're not in it but you in it yeah uh mr smith welcome to the group chat if you tell anybody you're going down with us that was a get it damn get it i can't get no it. We're, we're i'm recording that's a mosquito it's a mosquito hawk they eat mosquitoes that's a what mosquito hawk they eat mosquitoes you ain't never do that Nigga, that is a mosquito. Have you ever got bitten by that big ass shit? Probably. No, you haven't. You never find the ones that bite you because they bit you and left. Because they're this big and they get eaten by those. Anywho. You didn't know that? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not finding out the fucking Do better. dietary <laughs> needs of fucking mosquito hawks. You should know. All right. Um, I don't think we did this one, so if it lets me do it. I mean, we don't got to get uh -huh. all of that. This last Instagram one. question. What was that story? In college, we had these private rooms with pianos for the music kids. You know. Anyway, um, I just laid a lot of pipe in those rooms because they locked and you could cover the window on the doors. Okay. I don't think that. I th <laughs> the original message that's was it? longer. I, it was longer. I think it got cut off. Um, you just yeah, wanted that's to, So that was his high school story. So he, that just, was, he said it was in college. Oh, well, he just wanted to let us know. He just wanted to let us know that he, he was, was playing, fucking he, in there. Shout out to him. Thanks, uh, bud. Uh, I was fucking a lot in college. I was a lot of pipe. I was having a lot of fucking in college. I was doing it. <laughs> Good for you, bro. Uh, did we did we have a story? Um, uh, yeah. All I can remember is like our sophomore or freshman year where they had that riot. Yeah, that, that was our freshman year, I think. Yeah, the riot, yeah. So we were in the freshman building, so that's why we really didn't know about it. Um, but they ended up like there was like a huge fight in the either the cafeteria or the pack. Packs in, I think. Yeah, I was about to say, I think it was a pack. And um, yeah, people got arrested, all type of shit. Yeah. I did not know that. Mm -hmm. yeah. That was, yeah. That was our freshman year. Well, we were literally sheltered from Like, yeah, we're like, no. Like, oh. Yeah. Yeah, I forget who. Oh, man. That's yeah. not, but that's not our big high school story. I mean, I know Corey and Lamont would know. What was our biggest one? Our biggest one was when we was on uh, MTV High School Scandals. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the ski trip. Oh, yeah, yeah. You can explain that one. I wasn't. Oh, wait, hold on. It was my eighth grade year, and like, we heard about it. And honestly, uh, I was just thinking about this the other day. It was one of my best friend's sister that was like the girls that were was doing it? the. I, I found out about it like a few years ago mm. that it was her. And so I was, like, can you, I was like, can you explain this? Tell them what happened. I personally never heard this story from somebody who knows about it. Like I just saw it on MTV. Yeah. So I don't know if you know, was Daniel in your grad? Daniel Olmeda? No. No. Mm -mm. Uh, well, so. They used to do ski, like a ski, I had a ski club mm -hmm. and they took ski trips. I think, I don't know. I think this was in Canada. Yeah. They went up to, yeah, Canada. they went up to Canada. Yeah. Our school had money at that time. And they went to ski resort or whatever. And a couple of girls went out, got drunk at like a bar or something like that. And then we're doing some like girls going wild type shit, mm -hmm. showing her titties and shit like that. Because in Canada, the drinking age is, the legal drinking age is 18, 18. not yeah. 21. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But. 
You on a school girls, trip? These girls and these girls weren't eighteen. Oh, they weren't even eighteen. Oh, yeah, that was they were not. Problem. Yeah, the one I said, the one I think, I think it's just she's like a year or two older than me. But like I said, it was one of my best friend's sister. Wow. Um, and then the, the other dude that was there, he was older. I think he might have been a senior at the time. Mm. He had it on camera. Oh yeah, he did. So like they. They came back and it was like it was circulating over it, whatever. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> like I said, I I came here, I came here eighth grade, and we heard about like we're all in middle school, like hearing about it. Yeah, because my one boy that was in my grade, that was his older brother, <laughs> so he was showing him and everything. Oh God, and everything. So I that, did you see the video? No, I never seen the video. Okay, <sighs> I think like, I was, I think they took it away. Obviously, yeah, that shit's gone. But yeah, what's shit funny about scrubbed. it? They actually had to reenact mm-hmm. all their shit. Yeah. Like my boy, my both my boys had to uh, reenact them watching, acting like they're watching the video at the house. Like they filmed it at the house, mm. uh, actually down the street from uh, Quache's house. They filmed it at the house. They had to react like they, like oh man, their mom coming in. MC is sick. they're sick for that actually. And then like a, I, like a few of my friends got interviewed because they were part of it, or oh, not part of it, the thing, but yeah, they were at the like so they got interviewed and shit like that too. But yeah, it was like That's underage true. girls drinking and they like bugging out. Ended the ski trip. Yeah, that was the last one ever. It was the last yeah. one ever. Yeah, ruined We've it for been everybody. Going to Disney ever since. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Quite well, literally. no, they've been always going to. Ski. I think that's. that's, that's oh, that was yeah. oh, that's it was, it was a like, separate it was a club. club. It was uh, you can be part of the ski club. Yeah. Copy. Yeah, yeah some rich niggas. Yeah, it was on MTV. It was like yeah. the, it was I like the number one high school story. Yeah, that's like outside of fucking like. Yeah. The normal sex shit. Yep, I remember when that was on MTV. Yeah, I remember. Um, mm-hmm. I think as far as when we were in high school, nothing crazy really happened. Like like we said, obviously after high school, you know, teachers was fucking on students or whatever. But it didn't. It didn't. I don't know if it happened when we were in high school. Um, it. Pro- I'm sure it did, but I never heard about it. The main thing I remember is when the dude we had the intruder. Yeah. So we had a nigga just walk into the school. Now, I saw him come in. He looked like somebody's like parent. Like he like somebody's dad. I'm like, damn, somebody about to get their fucking ass beat. He looks mad as shit. He walked past us because everybody we were in the middle. It was a crazy time for him to do this. We were literally in the middle of switching classes. So I think I was going to lunch. Um, so he walked straight past us, middle of the hallway. And we're like, yo, what the fuck is he doing? Right? So as soon as we get to the cafeteria, they shut the shit down. We're like, all right, everybody stay where you're at. Um, turns out this nigga was in the hallway, like, like Tussling with with Madeira, like he was like trying to throw like a chair at him or some shit like that. That's the football coach, by the way, at the time. Um, did some some crazy shit like that, and then he was in the hallway like with a lighter to like the uh, trying to set off this, trying to set off the smoke alarm, the sprinklers. Um, yeah, the sprinklers. What? Uh, yeah, mm-hmm. and then uh, <laughs> shout out Miss Neary. I don't know where she's at today. Um, but yeah, she was like, "Yo, what are you doing?" Or like she said something, to him, and she told her shut the fuck up, bitch. So that was crazy. Mm. Um, but yeah, I. I they definitely like beefed up the security or like the actual like the the um what's the word I'm looking for the procedures to get into the building because this nigga just walked straight in like this it's 2011 like obviously school shootings were already a thing because Columbine happened years before that um but it was still really easy to get into I school. mean it was perfect timing because we were switching classes so like yeah. the doors the outside doors weren't locked because you yeah. gotta lock them and let the kids get in and out yeah. like, that was a really dangerous buildings. it was a very dangerous situation because it turned out the dude was schizophrenic Nah. And he was having like a manic episode. Um, so yeah, they ended up arresting him and then that's what came out that same day. But um, but yeah, we all could have got fucking shot. So wow. thankfully we didn't. But after we graduated, uh in the middle school, there was a a prostitution thing going on. What? Mm-hmm. Yeah. The middle school? The middle school. With what? the students? With the students. There were there was <laughs> the prostitution, uh young ladies. Out here giving the fellatio in the gym for money. Yeah. How much money were they? I, I don't know. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> but I have no clue. But that's yeah, I didn't hear yeah, about that. I was out there prostituting in the middle school. So he was Pro- middle school sucking prost- dick for Who money. Who the fuck brought that? What little kid was like? Y'all know how we can make money real fast? How, girl? <laughs> Ooh, I really need. I really want extra pizza dippers for yeah, lunch. I, I could really use fifteen dollars. Mm, you know what I could do for this? Yeah. Yikes! Now, also, we had the we had the toppers. 
Yeah, we did have the toppers. We had the toppers. To this day, I to can't still. understand. Okay. And we're not going to say the person. No, no, no. Not going to say anything. So there was there was a person in our school um, who was notorious for getting head from whoever he wanted. I don't know how he, have, he was able to do this. Um, there's videos of him getting neck in class. Yeah. Uh, I saw one of them involuntarily. Didn't ask to see that. Um, but yeah. Uh, he used to have girls come to the bathroom and just neck them off. And they became, I mean, there was a name. With there it, was a yeah. name for them. They were called the Toppers. Yes. Like, yes. it became like a like an exclusive club. Like, oh. You like, know? you're like, like, like. Like, what the fuck? Like, 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 like Delta. Yeah. Like, <laughs> if you were one of the Toppers, like, you. <laughs> and, it, and you know what's crazy? Like, listen, listen, man. I'm so disappointed. No, because I'm disappointed. Don't say too much, Mike. It's okay. Okay. Yeah, we don't got to go. It's just that when you look <laughs> at the guy, it's like, oh, my God. How the fuck did you do this? <laughs> but gaslighting is yeah, a thing. Uh, so the thing with him was, it's not. it wasn't necessarily what he looked like. It was him as a person. Like, he was in high school. Like, he was very charismatic. He was popular. Yeah. Um, Like, he would have, like, parties at his crib. Like, he was one of the cool people. Um, yes. And... The craziest part was he wasn't at our school for long. So, like, when he got there, he, like, moved up the ranks really very fast. Very fast. Yeah. Very, very it's, fast. it's like. Very fast. And he was never the best at anything. Like, he wasn't the best basketball player on the team. He wasn't the best football player on the team. Like. He came in like C.J. Stroud. Pretty much. As soon as he came in, he was already in the top five conversation. Like, how the fuck is this happening? How? How did you do this? How did he do it? He was just very charismatic, bro. Like, people, he just attracted people to him. He so, got a harem. Yeah. Yep. It was crazy. That shit was crazy. Yeah, like finding that out was crazy. <laughs> it's, it's not even the fact that it was going down; it's the fact that there was a name. Yeah. It was like a, a, it was an actual like organization and you no know, designation. Yeah, of these people. Um, but you no, know, school man. So we have a few questions. <clears throat> we can run off a few. Uh, so let's start off with this one. I actually seen this online before. Uh, I just want to get y'all input. On it as well as obviously this reader. Okay. Uh, where to go? Where to go? Where to go? What happens if Pinocchio says, "My nose is gonna grow"? Oof. What happens if he says his nose is gonna grow? Yeah. So, hmm. because the thing is, yeah, if he lies, it grows. It grows. But, but if it grows, that means he, he he didn't lie. He didn't lie. I didn't lie. You lied. Say uh, something weird. <laughs> like what? Say you're wearing women's underwear. <laughs> oh, I'm wearing that women's underwear. Gonna grow. Exactly. It just wouldn't move, right? It would uh, have to do something. I got to assume it's just not going to move. This shit would pretty much just have to implode. It just goes inside of his body and just <laughs> blows up. No, it just... It curls. It just, blows, mm. just blows up right there. I don't honestly want to go with nothing happens. Just nothing. Nothing. Or, yeah... Uh, or maybe it grows and it goes right back. Oh, yeah. It just... Boop, boop. Yep. <laughs> boop, boop. Doop, doop. Boop, boop. Yep. I think that's yeah, what yeah. happens. Yeah. It grows and then it comes right back. It goes, oop, never mind. Comes yeah. back. Yes. Do they ever tell how his nose, like, shortens? Like, does he shave it off? Oh, how does it get back? Maybe yeah, like, how does it get back to regular Telling times? the truth, I'm assuming. I forget. If lying makes it grow, then telling the truth, I would say, makes it shrink. Can I look that up? Because I don't think that's ever explained. Ooh, it could be permanent. Like it never. It that's what it is. I mean, because you know, essentially, he's I mean, just he wood is wood. Trade. Yeah, just so you can just back. shave it off. Yeah, sand it down. Make it's not it like he's about to go get rhinoplasty. Like it's just <laughs> cut that shit off. Oh, I gotta. <laughs> I'm not available on Tuesday, guys. I gotta go get my nose done again. <laughs> oh, yep, I got a standing Tuesday nose job appointment. Okay. With Doctor Leibowitz. <laughs> All right, we got. Yep, it. yep. My girl called me cheating again. Um, I think uh, we've talked about this before, but would y'all agree that a hot dog is not a sandwich, but an American version of a taco? No, it's a sandwich. A hot dog is a sandwich? Yes. I like the version of it being an American taco. Yeah, a taco's a sandwich. What? A taco's a taco. It's a sandwich. And a, hot, a, sandwich? a hot dog's a hot dog. This is bread with meat in it. Just because the configuration of the meat, of the bread is different, it's a sandwich. Mm-hmm. 
Like if you have like a football, basketball, soccer ball, they're still all still a ball. A ball. Mm, yep. Still nigga. Still nigga. <laughs> yep. Still nigga. Yep. Hmm. Yep. Okay. Yep. About to kill that shit. And I, I think also what makes it sandwich is that it's not oh, closed. You finally killed it? Yeah, I got it. Why would you kill the the, 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 the whatever the fuck is called? No, it's killed I, I, instead of getting yeah. up. In I wasn't going to yeah. slam dunk this nigga. Or he could he just. <laughs> I didn't even have to move. Luckily. And essay dead. All right. So can you guys name three people for a hilarious blunt rotation? <laughs> Mine would be Big Mike, Sarah J. Thank you. And Nick. No, Kids absolutely dead not. Dog. Absolutely not. Because what the fuck? You're. Say what do you who did he say it was again? <laughs> Big Mike, <laughs> Sarah J, and Nick, my dead dog. See, first of all, dead dog aside, which is nasty. Number one, I'm not in no fucking blunt rotation with a with, with, a, with a, a porn. Yeah, with a porn star. Are you out of your fucking mind? A professional dick sucker. What the fuck? A professional that? sucker of cock? No, I'm not getting no blunt. Ro- That's not. Are you out of your mind? He said funny, so. Right? So you wouldn't. What? You wouldn't smoke with a porn star? No. So, like, if you about to... We so can smoke our own bloods individually. If Tiana Trump came in here was like... <laughs> smack the <laughs> head <right>. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm smoke. Thank you, cuz. Nah, yeah. I, yeah. I'm, I'm sober that day. Yeah. You're sober that day? Yep. Yeah, I don't yeah. think I would... I'm I would. actually... No, I'm actually a Puritan Mormon. I don't, I don't do that. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I would... Are I'm you out of your... Like, what? I've seen you... you I mean, just I'm not saying I would. Woo! No, stop it, stop it. Nah, Lean back saying, this way. You're not saying this way. The problem but is, you're I'm not saying, saying outright no, which is disturbing no, to me. You've seen what these ladies do. I I have seen what these ladies do. Yeah. I'm not putting very nowhere in my mouth, nowhere where your mouth has been. It's just not happening. They do I'm it very sorry. frequently too. They're actually that's, the best at it. That's their job. I mean, they do they, nothing they else. They do it to keep the lights on. They 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 do. That's do all they do. do. You smoking a blunt with that? And then it's probably one she rolled where she got. Yeah, I'm gonna roll it. Nah, <laughs> no. nah, bitch. First off, like that, just, that the whole rolling. You be process like smoke is Rico strong. Exactly. The whole rolling process is nasty. I'm not a fan of it at all. Uh, I've got I've gotten into it. I've gotten a lot into it, actually. Yeah, no. Nah, rolling my okay. own blunts. Mm, mm, mm. Well, rolling your own, sure. Yes. Yeah. But, but you know what? With a group of people. But you know what I don't do, though? I actually, I, I'm real bougie with my process. I have uh, blunt glue. I feel like most people should have that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I just use that instead of licking it. I mean, I feel like, well, don't, isn't there like a glue part on papers? So I don't use papers. I use uh, actual like wraps, and through a very exhaustive and process, I've narrowed it down to I have, I have two favorites: mm. the Mike Tyson blunts. Oh, uh, you mentioned those are before. very expensive. So, uh, and then smokers, here's a tip for you guys: you'll never go back. Blunt wraps. You're looking for a blunt wrap? You go to uh, uh, Brothers Broadleaf. Brothers Broadleaf blunt wraps. Mwah. Mm. They got pearl. They got a brand called Pearls, and then Duds. I'd use the Pearls. Very good. They're very sturdy and strong. Uh, and then they come like a little glue, so you're not in there. You know, I had to do all that dumb <laughs> shit. Yeah, it's just, that's, that's it comes over like, there deep throwing the shit. I'm like, yeah, bro. Like, like, nasty, nasty, bro. I'm flicking the like. Almost done, bro. Like, yeah, like back in college, I'm like, I don't even want to. I don't want to do it anymore. Y'all do this all the time. Yeah, bro. <laughs> Almost done, bro. <laughs> He's like, like hey, oh, yo, bro. You about to roll up. You got fire, right? <laughs> like, Jesus. You know, like a corn, it's like, it's like like corn nah, cob at the fair. Scooby Doo. The little like, fire at the end of the joint. It kills all the germs. I'm like, do it really? Yeah, I remember that bullshit. Yeah, that's nah. Really the fi- nigga, no. All the germs. Bill Nye, the science guy. Shut the fuck up. Lysol wow. doesn't even kill all the germs, nigga. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> fuck you, suck my. Hey, you think me fire. Me fire blunt, no germ. <laughs> Yeah, fuck, you. fuck you. Fuck you ain't that blunt. Yeah. Oh, oh my fuck God. Throat goat. I've seen niggas, I've seen the sickest of individuals do it from the side and then. Uh, yeah, they've been. Yeah, I'm like, like, nigga. If I see a nigga uh, suck a blunt, <laughs> bro, <laughs> it's. Die. You see, listen, I, niggas do that a lot, like from the base to the tip of the blunt, the whole shaft of blunt just. 
It doesn't need to do that, bro. Nah. So it doesn't need all that. Thank God for blunt glue. If you smoke blunts, please. If you're sm- me, somewhere if, I- if you smoke with other people, you should definitely do it. But even if you do yourself, just get some blunt. Glue, I'm, man. I'm I'm just packing a cone. Yeah. Get some blunt glue, just, or you could do that. I'm just gonna pack a cone. So easy. I enjoy the uh, the nice little. A little uh, hitch in your chest that the blunt gives you. I mean, hey, it makes you feel alive. Makes well, you feel like, actual blunt. Yeah, it makes you feel comb, like you. Comb burn a little bit too. Comb burn a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Listen, man. I or just don't smoke. That too. No. That too. <laughs> Save your lungs. I don't rate it. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. Advise Sooner or later, I'm. I'm. I'm gonna try and just switch over to the strictly edibles. Mm. But uh, oh god, no. Strictly but, edibles is crazy. But, you right well, here. that's why that because. I like to keep my lungs. It's the like, ritual, you know, it's, it's, man. It's, I don't like that high is too much. Well, that's why I like I just gotta edible, find man. I, I gotta find the right one where like I could yeah, just eat this shit. and this is it'll just get me there. I should have my whole body buzzing like yeah. mm. or actually I, I wanna get to a point where I make my own so then I can control how much I'm it's, dosing. It, yeah, you can control, but it's just different. Yeah. But like so, like you like that? I don't. I don't care for it. I that mean, it depends. That it all depends. Because sometimes yeah. I've had edibles where I became a fucking plank, and other times I'm like, yo, this shit is great. I'm loving everything. I'm loving life. I'm loving me. I'm loving you. <laughs> Love each other. <laughs> yeah, I just I like <laughs> I like, <laughs> I like <laughs> the ritual of it. I like the. Mm. I just like the ritual of it. The, the rolling, the act of smoking, the yeah. act of it, and then like. Yeah, okay. I could come in, do it, take a couple, p- 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 mm. put it back, come later, just watch, just and come in. You know, edible, you got to wait an hour or two for it to drop. That's why. And that's, your digestive that's track. That's why you got to find a good one. I want my smoking to be immediate. You got to find it. That's why I'm on the hunt to find a good one. Because there's a couple fast acting, Jones, that fast I can come acting. across. And they are fast acting, but. The milligrams not high enough. I'm it's telling y'all, Keenan, one bad day from popping perks. Nah, nah. perks it one one. Perks it one one. I'm not doing that because you, it. you literally got to make that. Now, now, Grant, I am eating edible. Nigga, you make it. You just <laughs> but like like there's like an actual like science behind that. Perks it. Yes. This is a side line. What you doing? Yeah. Not but the main drug. You know is, what you gotta do. But the main drug is just grown. Yes, but what you're doing is not that. No, I mean this, you had you are taking it, extracting yeah. the stuff. You gotta heat it up. You mm-hmm. gotta put it, incorporate it into some type of butter or oil. Yeah, yeah. None of that is involving me having to do a chemical balance with some components I have no clue how to pronounce. Sure, sure. Just can, just because you can pronounce butter <laughs> doesn't mean that you're not doing some wild chemical yeah. shit. Not not to that extent. Doesn't make you any less of Walter White. <laughs> it it, de- it definitely does. It makes you Betty Crocker, not Walter. I rather be Betty Crocker. Than Rachel Ray. I'll be <laughs> Rachel Ray too. No. I'll, I'll be all the white bitches. <laughs> all the white. Bitches. I'll be all the white bitches. That's crazy. Uh, new two. Let, last one. One more. Yeah. One yeah. More. One more. Uh, I'll, I'll do this one because we was just having a little moment earlier. Mm. Y'all funny as hell. I'm a chef and I have you in headphones while I prep. Uh, sorry. Y'all funny as hell. I'm a chef and I have you in headphones while I prep like for a year now. Mm. Mike, how does Big E feel about King Dookie wanting to be her bestie? <laughs> you know. That's funny. <laughs> That's such a funny question. You bro. know, what's you. so funny about that? <laughs> At first, she's like, why would he think that? And now... She turned new leaf. It's it's starting. It's starting. It's the it's, nigga is starting we, to sink we, his claws. We wow. are becoming, and I'm I'm getting pissed now. <laughs> we literally like earlier, like he was trying to say I don't drink water, right? And I was like, <laughs> you know what? I know how we can solve this. I call Big E because mm. she's with me all the time. She knows how much water to drink. I asked him. She was like, oh, he drinks too much water. And then he got, and they just started double teaming. Like, oh man. He drinks so much because he just drinks so fast. Like, he can't even save her everything. And they're just bantering. And they say you drink too much water? Nah, so, like, she was like, oh, he he probably drinks about, like, a little over a gallon a day. That's good. I'm like, well, damn. And then Mike was like, they're not, like, big soda drinkers and stuff. <laughs> mm. So I'm like, oh, so you're just drinking the water because, you know, it ain't no good shit in the house. 
And she was like, no, it's just he he, like he just be drinking water. Mm-hmm. And Mike was like, so like me and Erica is just, you know, having a little banter. And Mike's like, I don't like this. Like, I don't like <laughs> I don't like it. And I'm like, I don't I'm like just doing yet. my regular, you know, I'm just bothering Mike. And no, she's like, you yeah, know, Kenan, sometimes we got double Kenan team. Likes to, you know, Ken likes always gets in a bit sometimes. Yeah, he does. I don't go Kenan's in is very performative by nature at times. No, I'm not. Both Kenan, I'm, do that. I'm the Kenan, s- Kenan, both of you Kenan, do that. you did it. You, you did it when we were filming. As soon as you came on. Nigga started potting. He's st- yo. What are you talking about? I want about? you to like look, yo. Look at his. <laughs> what are you talking look about? Look at his face. He know he's yo. You wait, were, right, wait. What did he do? What did bro, I do? So when you when we came over when you came over right, uh-huh. and it was us and them the the girls doing the part right, mm-hmm. and then we started talking, and then you like, we started talking about water, and I was like, yeah, I was like, yeah, I need one of those water bottles. She's like, you have one. Okay. And no, I was like, no, no, that's I not. Like, I don't. That's he, not me. Go ahead, finish your story. He was like, I don't have one. I was like, I don't have one. He was like, yes, you do. I was like, oh, right, I do have one. He was like, I should bring that tomorrow. He was like, you're not going to bring it tomorrow. Now, the conversation could have been yeah, like, why, yeah, why is, why, why, now, are you, why are you doing this in front of a stranger? <laughs> the, and I just want to make mention in front of the woman. Okay, it has nothing <laughs> no, to do in front of the women. <laughs> I don't know these women from a He don't know nobody there that's except, it, except uh, Joe. I'm just doing my normal mic because I know got, Mike's. He got into, I know Mike's not going to bring that, that water next day. went on and he just locked right in. He was like, "You're not going to do that." I'm like, "What do you mean?" He's like, "Cause you're not going to do it." I'm like, and then we started. Get, you did some semantics thing no, about it's just, it's just. I I just knew Michael. Oh no, this is what he did. I was like, "Yeah." She's like, "But it's not going to be cold." I'm like, "It doesn't really have good insulation or something." He's like, "Yeah." I was like, yeah, I'm just gonna put a bunch of um some ice in. He's like, oh, 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 no, because he started bullshitting. He started bullshitting. So, so talking about, I'm like, so he asked me what's the brand of this. So I was like, it's such and such. And but but thing is, this not a good insulator. Okay. I, I leave this in the car full of water. I come back, this water gonna be hot. <laughs> so Mike was just like, oh, okay. So well, so I'll just put ice and water in it t- tonight, and I'll bring it with me tomorrow. I'm like. Why would you put ice and water in there tonight? Why not just put ice and water in there tomorrow? tomorrow. Mm-hmm. He was like, because I just want to do it early so then I can just have it ready for me. Right. I was like, yeah, I want to do it early because while it's fresh in my mind. Grab and go. So I don't think about I'm it. I'm like, yeah. Mike, the ice is going to melt. Why not just. And it, yeah, he tried to argue with no, me. That no, no. I, I was like, why would the ice melt if it's in the freezer and fridge? No, yeah. he said he's going to put it in the refrigerator. I'm like, the refrigerator is not cold enough to, to keep the ice from melting, I mean, Michael. it should be cold enough, like. The ice but you see what we're no. doing right now? And the fact that it's cold. No, because he started going. He was like, "Well, then I put it in the freezer." I'm like, "Then you just gotta have one big ass ice cube. You're not gonna okay. have no water." And y'all was doing this in front of everybody. <laughs> yeah. Do you see? Do you see? Yeah, I see it. Do you see? There's nothing to see. I see. There's it. nothing to see. You we're got just having to the mode. There, the there, the like, there is no yo, mode. All, just do they do this all the time? Yeah. And, and it's so funny. <laughs> the next day we were talking about. I was talking like they, they, one of the co, one of the uh, actors asked me about the podcast. Mm. I'm like, yeah, how long have you been podcasting? I was like, yeah, it's almost been seven years. Blah blah blah. And I was like, who else is on it? I'm like, uh, the guy that was here yesterday. He was on it. He's like, oh yeah. He's like, how long you know? I'm like, I've known for almost twenty years, tw- more than that. Mm. He's like, yeah, I can tell. I was like, because yeah. <laughs> that's what fucking, happens when you yeah, have real friendships. Look at the shit. To say. When you have real friendships, he could have just been okay. Yeah, but Michael, no, that's too easy for Keenan. I ain't never heard Keenan's Keenan mission right. in his life is like, I gotta call him out. Yeah. He still time. haven't bought those aminos. See? Do you see? Do you see? Don't look. You still look. haven't bought those aminos. <laughs> and then yeah. this one over here. Who, me? No, this one. <laughs> I see he was like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> he was like, I'm not paying y'all no money. <laughs> I mean, he ain't buying no fucking aminos. I know he didn't do that. So I'm like, I'm like, he, he was like, oh, I got to get me a, a, a big water jug. I'm like, Mike, you have one. You just never wanted to use it. And he was like, oh, I do have it. I don't know where it's at, though. I'm like, I wonder why you don't know where it's at. Now, see, why do we need to do all that? Yeah. Y'all are married. And then are. And bickering. <laughs> exactly. It's called bickering. <laughs> That's our relationship. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it is. We get together, we mm. argue, we kiss. I see you tomorrow. Okay. All right, guys. Make sure you subscribe <laughs> to everything. Yo. All the. All. That's that's a real relationship, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> no, nah, just uh, thanks for listening, everybody. Uh, we hit that 13k on YouTube. Bring it up to 15K. We want you to yeah. uh, by the end of the year. If do more and more. 15K. If y'all don't get us I to 15K, I want 15K we're by Thanksgiving. We yeah, we're we not going to party more if y'all don't get us to 15K. Yeah, 15K by Thanksgiving. Um, Which is my birthday. Yeah. Your birthday's on Thanksgiving this year? Mm-hmm. Nice. Oh, it is? I mm-hmm. didn't look. Nice. Birthday's on Thanksgiving every seven years. Wow. Wow. Okay. Yeah. 
Okay. Right. Um, but yeah, make sure you subscribe on everything. YouTube, uh, all the podcasting platforms. Um, P.O. Box number 276 in Burlington, New Jersey, zip code 08016. And if you want to leave a voicemail, it's going to be at the phone number 609... 609- 836-0694. That's 609-836-0694. Leave a voicemail. Yeah. We'll play it on the pod. Yeah. It's a good time over here. Yeah. Make sure, oh, but most importantly, mm. and I can't stress this enough, subscribe to the Patreon. Get on the Patreon wave, okay? Do you don't want to be like that caller we had earlier talk about they not subscribe. You don't want to be like him. That's a sad, sad, sad man, I'm assuming, <laughs> because <laughs> he hasn't gotten the enlightenment of the podcast Patreon. Yeah. Three, five, fifteen, and mega, mega, bleep, 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 tears. Yeah. Tier two and up, Monday episodes, ad free at all levels. All that. Extra shit. content. Discounts, all types of different things, the higher you go up. Also, if you like YouTube subscription, mm. we have that option for you as well. If you prefer the layout of YouTube when you watch the videos and different things of that nature. Mm. So listen, it's different avenues of you could do to give us your support and your money. So exhaust all of them. Yeah. Why not? Why not? Why, why not? The, why the fuck not? Why the not? That's what that's what you should be asking yourself. Why yeah. Not? Why not give them everything? <laughs> it's no. You can't give me seventeen thousand logical reasons as to why you shouldn't give me all your money. <laughs> and if you can't name me seventeen thousand reasons, hmm. reasons within the next thirty seconds, you <laughs> have no choice but to give us all your money in Patreon. Run it up. Run it up. Run it up. Make it a competition with yourself. Yeah. Go band for band with yourself on the Patreon. Go ban for ban. I mean, good idea, I think. Well, yeah. I've said all that I wanted to say. And once you say all you know, it's time to go. And at yeah. the end of the day, they yeah. go to end. It's going in. We'll appreciate y'all. We'll see y'all next week. Same time, same place. Bye bye. I don't think I've ever been on a Luther bench. You should. Sure? It's a good time, bro. I don't know. I'm sure. Luther was the one of the goats. I forgot how good fucking Dance With My Father was. That album. It's a good one. Classic. Classic. Can Nothing but bang. I, I started off with that song. I'm a lonely son, baby. I'm a lonely son, baby. I'm a lonely son, baby. I missed the chance for romance yeah, at least. I wish it's they... I, I wish... What's the It's a strike. It's a strike. Yeah. But we're at the end. I try my yeah. best and I'm showing. You know who should have made a good song together? Who? Him and Charlie Wilson. That w- ooh. we didn't miss out on that. Ooh. We were wild. Yeah, we were that would have that. been crazy. some old player vibes. That yeah. would have went crazy. It would have hit all demographics. It would have got we'll, everybody. We'll Ronald Isley on the hook. Oh, <laughs> the only bad thing about that. R. Kelly's probably going to produce that track. Nah, we R. Kelly's in jail. He, uh, no, but like if. <laughs> <laughs> if he was alive Oh well He nah. is alive But like we if anybody was He dead to me We can do it without him <laughs> We He's can do dead it without to him us. Somebody make it happen with AI